Today, I'm going to be hiring the TV man to help me cheat in a mob battle. But what my girlfriend doesn't know is this is a one-way glass wall, so I can see exactly what mob she's going to spot in. Okay, Zoe, are you excited for today's Skibbity mob battle? I am so excited. I love the Skibbity characters. Okay, you're going to have five minutes in this first round of spotting your mobs. Best of luck, Zoe. Good luck, Dex. Okay, guys, and now we're on to the very first round. And of course, we have the TV man to help us. But using this one-way glass wall, let's see what Zoe's going to try to do for this first round. For this first round, I'm just going to spawn in the Skibbity toilet. Wait, she's literally spawning in the skimmy toilet TV. Do you see how bad of a mob she used? <laughs> she spawned the default toilet. That thing sucks. Yeah, that thing is pretty trash. Okay, we're going to need to think of something super, super good that we could do. Let's see. What can we even use? Okay, well, maybe I can go ahead and look inside the chest. And wait a second. Uh, TV man? Yeah? Where in the world did this huge forest just come from? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't see a forest. But there's literally... What do you mean you know what I'm talking about? There's a huge forest right behind you. It's just grass over there, man. There's nothing back there. Okay, you... You are an absolute maniac. I see a huge forest. And wait, there's even a path here. Should I go ahead and follow it? I don't know what you're talking about, but sure. Go ahead and follow it if you want. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and see. And wait, there's even a chest at the end of the path. What the heck is going on here, TV man? Let's go ahead and look inside that chest. And whoa, wait, there's two different spawnings. And one says the TV man and the other says the TV woman. Do you have anything to do with this TV man? No, no nothing whatsoever. Okay, let's go ahead and spot the TV woman first. And whoa, she looks super cool. It actually looks like your sister. Oh yeah, the TV woman does look pretty cool. Let's try out that TV man. Okay, let's see what the TV man looks like. And uh, wait a second, uh, TV man, this looks exactly like you. Hmm, good looking fellow. What the heck? Wait, if that was literally your spawning, why didn't you just give me your spawning instead of having me go through this huge forest? I don't know what you're talking about. I still don't see a forest. Oh my, you are literally such an airhead, but you know, whatever. Let's just go ahead and spawn in a bunch of these guys so we can beat Zoe in this round. Hopefully the TV man is strong, even though you are pretty weak. I think it might be strong enough if we spawn in a bunch of them to win. Uh, and wait a second, why in the world is Zoe walking back to her chest? And what the heck is she holding? Sweet. I packed an upgrade potion. Now I can use it on all my skibbity toilets. Wait, what is this gonna do? And wait a second. What the heck? The upgrade potion literally made a bunch of G-Men. How in the world does that even work? Perfect. Now that my skibbity toilets turned into G-Men, there's no way that Dax is gonna win. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely ridiculous. How in the world did she get the G-Man? This is so stupid. I honestly have no idea. We are so screwed now. Dax, the time is up. Wait, Zoe, are you serious? The time's already up. No, please, I need more time. No way, I'm dropping the wall. And oh my goodness, you actually did drop down the wall and you have so many G-Men. How in the world am I supposed to win this? I don't think that you are gonna win. I'm definitely gonna dominate your team. Oh my goodness, all oh my TV men and TV women are getting absolutely beat up. This is so ridiculous. Ridiculous. Sorry, Dax. Looks like you're losing this round. Oh, no. And I still have a TV woman in the tree. Get down there and fight them all. You can totally do this. Yeah, go down on the ground. Come on. Come on. You can do this. And, uh, wait. You can't hit this TV man, Zoe. Why not? Uh, because he's super special. Quick, TV man, run away. What the heck? That TV man just disappeared. Uh, yeah. That was totally weird, but, uh, whatever, Zoe. I guess you won the first round, but don't worry. I'm totally destroying you in the second round. Yeah, I seriously doubt it, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, my goodness, guys. I can't believe Zoe actually smacked us around that last round. And wait a second. What in the world is she already trying to spawn in? This is so ridiculous. For this round, I'm going to do something super crazy and spawn in the parasite toilet. Wait, did she literally just spawn in the parasite toilet off the jump? What the heck? This thing is so scary. And this guy's super deadly. So I'm going to spawn in a whole bunch of them and Dax army's going to get destroyed. Oh my goodness, guys. This is absolutely ridiculous. And wait a second. Where in the world of the forest go? And wait, where did the TV man go? I can't believe he literally just left us to fight this battle for himself. But don't worry. I can definitely think of something. What if I go ahead and spawn in the speaker man and then I spawn in the speaker woman? So let's go ahead and see what the speaker man looks like. And oh, uh, wow. This guy looks kind of stupid. I'm not going a lie but okay let's go ahead in the speaker woman to see what she looks like and whoa this one definitely looks way cooler i bet she's way stronger than the stupid speaker man but now i can build my entire army out of them so let's go ahead and place a bunch of them down all over the place and this is totally gonna be awesome and even though my army does look pretty cool i probably need to help them out a little bit and actually i have one secret chest on this arena let's go ahead and walk to the back of our arena and i should have a hidden trap door somewhere over here come on and <gasps> whoa look at that perfect now if i go ahead and look inside of here i have a personal shrinking device and this thing doesn't only make things super small if i go inside of the personal shrinking device and pick like a size of two and then i click on any of these people they'll get super ginormous and of course everyone knows that the bigger you make the stronger and faster my army will get so this is totally gonna be op and i actually want to use one more thing this is called the mob enchantment book and basically if i walk up to any of these characters and click on them they'll become enchanted what makes them super overpowered let's go ahead and click on a few of these people and i gotta make sure to click on the tall ones since they are the leaders of our army okay 
just clicking on a few more and then I think we should be good to go but we do have a bit of time until the walls drop so I probably should mess with Zoe a little bit and in order to do that I'm gonna need to grab myself an invisibility potion so let's go ahead and use this and just splash it on ourself like this and now we become completely invisible okay let's go ahead and sneak over the wall over to Zoe's side and whoa her army looks even scary on this side look how many people she spotted this is so scary my army of parasite toilets are so good oh my goodness guys she isn't lying at all her army is so good and she has so many of them what the heck am i even gonna do okay let me think real quick she has a bunch of people i need to get rid of a bunch of them so why don't i walk around with this mob killer and start hitting a bunch of them because it's basically a one-shot kill okay let's go ahead and take out these guys right here and man this is gonna be so perfect when zoe realized that her army's shrinking down what the heck why are my mobs dying wait a second guys she was right behind us oh god hopefully she didn't see the mob killer stick i don't see anything but i thought i saw something floating but it's not here anymore I guess it was just a glitch oh my goodness guys okay good thing she thought it was a glitch but that was a little bit too close okay maybe i should think of something better to do oh i have the perfect idea what if i go into my inventory and then i type in dynamite and i can use one of these super overpowered dynamites to destroy her side and the first one i want to use is a lightning dynamite all we have to do is smack it down and whoa look at all that lightning what the heck where did that lightning come from and it destroyed some of my mobs oh my gosh guys that was too funny and zoe looks super mad let's go ahead and throw a few more them down no stop a lot of my mobs are dying i have to hurry and spawn some more in <sighs> okay guys she is just spawning in more mobs i think i need something a little bit more deadly what if i throw one of these arrow dynamites down that shoots a bunch of arrows everywhere no what the heck where are these arrows coming from oh my goodness guys this is literally the funniest thing ever okay let's go ahead and figure out something else because zoe is literally just spawning in more people this is ridiculous oh wait i thought it was a super good idea what if i look inside her inventory all i have to do is type in this command right here and oh my goodness guys look i can see inside her inventory and wait let's see what mom is she spawning in perfect the parasite toilet is right there let's go ahead and take the parasite toilet and now she can't even spawn it anymore what the heck where did my parasite toilet spawn egg go oh my gosh guys she just realized that her spawning is missing well it's not like there's a lot of time left i think we only have like 30 seconds and i have a whole bunch of mobs wait did she say we only have 30 seconds left oh gosh guys we should probably head back to our side but before i do that let's throw some more lightning dynamite what the heck there's more lightning and it killed all of my mobs okay guys perfect now we're back to our side let me go ahead and grab myself a nice little milk bucket so now i'm completely uninvisible again okay so well my army is pretty much ready for this next round let me just tell you you're totally going down no way dax you are so going down but did you experience any like lightning or arrows or anything oh yeah i had a bunch of weird stuff on my side that happened to you too yep i'm just making sure i'm not the only one yeah it was super weird but let's go ahead and drop these walls so i can beat you and here we go it looks like the round has officially started and whoa you have so many different parasite toilets yep they're super creepy but whoa your mobs are big and they're glowing yep i have a bunch of speaker woman and speaker men and they can totally destroy all these parasite toilets yeah no way dax i still have a whole bunch of mobs it looks like your guys are going down oh no way my guys can totally win what if i just throw one of these lightning dynamites down what the heck the lightning came from you you dirty cheater wait so what are you even talking about i literally have no lightning in my inventory you threw a lightning dynamite i just heard and saw you do it no i think you're going crazy zoe but man it looks like your army's getting totally taken out and boom your last person just got taken out which means i win whatever dax i'll give you this round because the next few i'm gonna win i doubt that but yeah let's just move on and perfect guys we completely destroyed zoe in that round but i totally need to keep winning so let's see what is zoe gonna try and do for this next round for this round i'm gonna do something completely different i'm I'm only gonna spawn in three mobs wait she's only gonna spawn in three mobs that sounds like such a stupid idea i'm gonna spawn in the buzz toilet astronaut toilet and the knife toilet wait she spawned in the bus toilet, the astronaut toilet and the night toilet what the heck all these guys look super scary and because these guys are so powerful i don't think i need to spawn in anymore but she's not even gonna spawn it anymore okay guys that is definitely gonna be her downfall okay let's go ahead and figure out something really cool to spawn it in what the heck wait why is there a portal here and oh my gosh look there's nothing even behind the portal and wait a second was that the tv man inside i thought he died in the last round what in the world is he even doing in here uh tv man what are you doing over there hi dex what the heck and wait why is there a bunch of parkour over here and why is there a chest that you're protecting if you want what's inside the chest you're gonna have to do the parkour 
Wait, I'm gonna have to do the parkour, but literally I could just fly over it. Wait a second, what the heck? It just put me in survival mode. That's what you get for trying to cheat. Oh my gosh, this is so dumb. Okay, let me go ahead and do this parkour. I'm pretty good at parkour, so this should be pretty easy. Let me just go ahead and make this jump here and I'll jump over this. And man, this is so easy. I could definitely even do this in my sleep. And perfect, I made it over TV, man. Good job. Now what's inside the chest is yours. Okay, let's see it. Uh, wait a second, uh, TV, man? Yes? Uh, It says it's a passcode protected chest. Can you please type in the passcode or something? No, the only way it's going to open up is if everyone who's watching right now subscribes. Wait, you said everyone watching has to subscribe? Guys, quick subscribe in the next three seconds three two one and whoa look at that the chest is actually opened up now and whoa wait there's a bunch of different titans here i see the titan speaker man the titan tv man and the titan camera man yeah those are the most powerful skibbity characters you should definitely win now oh perfect okay let me go ahead and run back to the arena just like this just a few more and perfect i made it all the way back now i can go ahead and spawn up my super awesome titans and oh wait a second it put me back in creative mode and maybe i can get the tv man to help me out a bit more and what the the heck the portal literally just broke okay well it doesn't even matter i can go ahead and spot these people myself and get something super cool so let me go ahead and spot the upgraded cameraman and i can spot the upgraded tv man and i can also spot the titan speaker man and whoa these people look awesome okay let me just go ahead and spot a few of each of these guys so my army could be as strong as possible thank goodness i brought my god potion so i could splash it on my mobs and make them even stronger wait god potion uh it's literally doing nothing what in the world is this well i guess it really doesn't do anything since it's obviously not doing much so uh, I think Zoe's definitely going to lose. Great. Now my mobs look normal, but they're 10 times stronger. I'm going to win so easily. What the heck, guys? She literally doesn't know I have a bunch of Titans over here. Who do you think is going to win this round? You can either comment Team Titan or Team Skibbity. Okay, Zoe, well, my army is basically ready to go for this round. And let me just tell you, you're totally getting smacked. Dex, you're going to be super surprised when you see my army. Go ahead and drop the wall. We'll see about that. It looks like you didn't even spawn in that many people, Zoe. You literally have three different toilets. And you spawned in a bunch of Titans. Yeah, there's absolutely no shot you're gonna win this but man you guys are actually pretty strong how are they not going down already yeah your titans are dropping like flies oh no guys come on we cannot lose the three toilets that'll be the most embarrassing defeat of all time come on team zoe you got this come on keep fighting guys keep fighting what the heck they're all getting taken out come on guys we totally have to win this and what the heck why are there a bunch of striders in the arena too zoe why did you bring striders in here i didn't do anything but if they're helping me i'm all for them oh my gosh this is absolutely ridiculous come on guys keep fighting i totally have to win this and oh man i don't have that many people left yeah but i still have less than you so there's no way that you could win come on guys come on come on the astronaut toilet is taking all of my titans on this side this is ridiculous Woohoo! my team is doing so good wait i only have like two people left one people left and what the heck not even one of your people got taken out yikes looks like you're a loser oh my goodness that was so ridiculous your people were just too strong i told you that they were gonna be super strong <sighs> whatever is doing well that makes the score two to one so i guess if you win one more round you're gonna be the bot battle champion that's totally not gonna happen it totally Totally is. What in the world, guys? Zoe's potion was so overpowered. Her three mods literally destroyed all of our Titans. That was so crazy. But if she wins one more round, I'm going to lose the whole mob battle. So let's focus up real quick and see what she's going to try and do. For this round, I'm going to do something super spooky and spawn in the scary toilet. Ew, what the heck is this? This is definitely a scary toilet. This guy is horrifying. Whoa, look at the saws on the side of him. This guy is crazy looking. I'm going to spawn in a whole bunch. Hi, Dex. Wait, what the heck? Was that the team? And what the heck, team? And what are you doing back here? I'm here to help you out since you keep losing so badly. Wait, since I keep losing so badly, literally your mobs are the reason I lost the last round. I mean, I could have won the last round with my mobs, but... Like, it's just, just you. Oh my gosh. You are literally so mean, but how are the water even going to help me in this round? Well, I've got a combining machine where we can combine the monsters together. Wait, you can make a combining machine? How in the world do you even do that? I've got a command for it. Watch. And whoa, wait a second. You actually made a combining machine? But wait, how in the world does this thing even work? Well, you put one on one side, one on the other, flip the lever in the middle, and whammo new monster wait that actually works and whoa that gave me a super genius idea tv man what if i go ahead and use all the titans from the previous round and combine them all to make like a tri titan whoa that sounds super cool yeah it is gonna be extremely strong let me go ahead and put all these guys in there and now all i have to do is flick this lever right here and oh my goodness look at that it actually made the tri titan this guy looks so overpowered i told you with my help you'll definitely win okay let me go ahead and grab this guy's spotting so i can spot a whole bunch of them outside the arena and 
TV man, what's the next thing we should probably do? Uh, TV man, wait a second. Where in the world did the TV man just go? Uh, he just completely disappeared. Ugh, whatever. Okay, I guess I can just spawn in a bunch of the Tritides by myself and win this round. But I probably need to grab that mob enchantment book I had earlier to make my Tritides even stronger. And I should probably should grab that shrinking device as well because I want a few of them to be super, super big. Let's just go ahead and click on these guys like this. And then I'll make a couple of them more glowy like that. And whoa, my army is going to be so powerful. And who do you think is going to win this round? You can either comment Team Tritide or you can comment Team Scary. Okay, guys. And before the walls drop, I should probably go mess with Zoe really quick. And using this one mod I have, I can instantly transform into any of Zoe's characters. And whoa, look at that. I'm turning into her scary toilet. And now since I look just like her characters, I can walk over to her side and she won't even know. Let's just fly over the wall while her back is turned in. Perfect. Now I'm on Zoe's side. Yay. My army looks so good. And after I win this round, I'm going to be the mob battle champion. Okay, guys, we can totally not let her be the mob battle champion. I'm going to have to do a few different things to mess with her. And one thing I'm thinking about is using my personal shrinking device. Let's go ahead and make the size like 0.3. And then I can walk around and just click on some of her people and make them super tiny. And whoa, look how small this guy got. Okay, let's go ahead and click on a few of these guys in our army to make our army super tiny and weak. What the heck? Why are my mobs so small now? Wait a second, guys. I think she just noticed that her mobs got super tiny. Tiny. This is not good. How am I supposed to win if my mobs are so tiny? Oh, perfect, guys. She's freaking out. Okay, let me go ahead and do a few more people on this side just so I can make her whole entire army small. And oh, gosh, wait, I broke the one-way glass. Let me fix that real quick. And perfect. Let's continue making everything small. Wait, what the heck? You're doing it. Oh, wait a second, guys. Zoe was literally right behind me. Let me change my voice real quick. Oh, uh, what are you talking about? I didn't do anything. I saw you make my mobs tiny. What is your plan? Why in the world would I make my army small? I'm literally part of this army. Your army? It's my army, and I ordered you to stop. Uh, okay. I mean, I wasn't doing anything in the first place, but I guess I could stop doing nothing. Oh my gosh, guys, that was way too close. Zoe really caught on to us. Let's go ahead and make a few of her people small though while her back is turned. Wait, what the heck? I saw you again. Oh, quick, guys, let's get out of here. And now he's flying away like a coward. Wait, why is he flying? And he flew to Dax's side. Oh no, guys, this isn't good. I think she actually thinks it was us. Dax. Uh, hey, Zoe, what's up? Um, did you just send somebody over to sabotage my army? Uh, send someone over to your side? No, why would I do that? I'm taking care of my own army right now. Because one of my mobs started shrinking on my mobs and then flew over to your side. Wait, one of your mobs? Zoe, I don't even know what you spawned in. How would I send someone over to your side? I don't know. You have some tricks up your sleeve. I can feel it. Uh, well, no, I didn't do anything. But just to prove I didn't do anything, do you just want to start this round early? Fine, let's start it early. And here we go. It looks like the round has started. And man, Zoe, your people are so small. Yeah, because somebody sabotaged me. And whoa, that's the Tri-Titan. Why is he so big? Uh, because it's the Tri-Titan. It's a combination of all the Titans. So of course, he's going to be super big and super strong. Crazy. This is not looking good for me. Come on, guys. Take out the last of these little ones. Man, it's so hard to hit them because they're so tiny and pathetic. No, this is not good. Come on. There's only a few of them left. Oh, my goodness. It's so annoying that they're this small. They're so hard to hit. Come on punch out a few more of them let's go and boom i think your whole army just got taken out zoe dang it that means i'm not gonna win this round so that means this next round is the tiebreaker round yep this is the tiebreaker round and you're totally going down and perfect guys we just completely destroyed zoe which means we have a chance to win now and this is the final round so let's focus up see what zoe's gonna do so i can make the perfect counter this round i'm gonna spawn in the toilet man and whoa he's huge what the heck she literally just spawned in the toilet Toilet man, and this guy is ginormous. What the heck am I gonna do? Time to spawn in a whole bunch of them. Dax, I have a great idea. What the heck? Is that the TV man? And where the heck did you just come from? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. You have not. Ugh, whatever. It doesn't even matter. What's your great idea? What if you combine yourself with the Tri Titan? Wait a second. If I combine myself, that's actually a super good idea. So probably all I need to do is put the Tri Titan on this side, and then I'll just walk over there, and then you can hit the lever, and we can a bind thing with the Tri Titan. Okay, whenever you're ready, TV man, go ahead the lever. And oh my gosh, wait, that really hurt my head. And wait, did it even work? And oh my gosh, look, it's the Dax Tri Titan. What the heck? That thing looks so cool. Oh my gosh. And since I have a Dax Tri Titan now, I can grab it, spawn it, and spawn a whole bunch of them, which means I'm totally going to win this round. It's all thanks to my great idea. Uh, whatever, TV man. It doesn't even matter. If it had combined it myself, we totally would have lost. But now I'm totally going to win this round. Okay, TV man. And before the walls drop, I'm going to need you to hide. Otherwise, Zoe's going to catch on that we've been cheating this whole time. All right. I'll go hide. Man, guys, my army literally looks so good. But of course, I need to make them even better by throwing on some mob and 
enchantments and man should i probably make them like two times the height too i definitely should let me just first start by clicking on a few of these guys i think i want to make like five guys glowy and then i'll make my whole army like double their height let's go ahead and start clicking on them with this shrieking device and of course i have to make them two times the height so let's do that and boom they're gonna be so tall look how giant my army is now this is gonna be such a crazy round and before the round actually starts guys who do you think is gonna win you can either comment team dax or you can comment team zoe even though we all know i'm totally gonna destroy her but oh gosh wait a second guys i'm literally going over this mob enchantment book let me just go ahead and grab the mob unenchantment book so i can click on myself and no longer be glowing okay Zoe, my army is basically ready to go and i'm totally gonna destroy you in this final round yeah i seriously doubt that dax but drop the wall and let's see and here we go the final round has officially begun and whoa your people are so tall the heck are even these things Dax, I've never seen these mobs before. Yep, these are Dax Tritons. I combined myself with a Triton to make the ultimate skibbity character. Yikes, they're super gross looking. What the heck? They literally look like me, Zoe. That's so mean. Sorry, Dax. I'm just being honest. Come on, Dax Tritons. We totally have to win this. And man, it looks like no one's even going down. These guys must all be super strong. Yeah, this is a close match. I wonder who's gonna win. I'm totally still gonna win this. I have way more people. And yes, I'm seeing a bunch of our toilet men dropping. Oh no, this is not good come on you only have like a few of these guys left take them out take them out only one guy left and boom it looks like i won zoe dang it i really thought i was gonna win that round my guys were so big well honestly you did pretty good zoe maybe you can actually win the next mob battle i think i definitely will today i'm doing a minecraft mob battle with my girlfriend but we'll be using skibbity mobs and what my girlfriend zoe doesn't know is i have this one-way glass wall so i can see exactly what skibbity mobs she spawns well anyway zoe are you excited for today's skibbity mob battle and wait why are you so big i am super excited but dax how do you know i'm big oh uh i could just hear your steps stomping around but you're gonna have five minutes to spot in your mobs best of luck zoe good luck dax okay guys and now we're on to the very first round of our skibbity mob battle and of course i set up this huge one-way glass wall so i can see exactly what zoe's gonna spot in so let's see what is she gonna try and do for this first round i am so excited to beat dax this first round i need to look at my chest and see what mobs i can spawn in i really doubt she has anything good in her chest guys my people are totally gonna crush her this one's called the astronaut toilet whoa this guy's super cool what the heck wait she has the astronaut toilet off the jump look how spooky this guy looks and of course i'm gonna spawn in a whole bunch of them so i can build a super strong army that defeats dax oh my gosh guys zoe always spawns in a whole bunch of them which makes this a lot more complicated but don't worry i can think of something really good let's see what's in our chest oh and wait a second this might be the perfect counter to zoe's mobs if i spawn in the tight speaker man for the first round there's probably no way that zoe's army could actually beat us so let me go ahead and spotted one of these guys and whoa this guy is so huge look at this he has his rocket launcher jetpack and he has two different cannons on him and he's like 50 feet tall this is awesome let me go ahead and spot a big army these guys so they can completely crush zoe's and oh wait a second why in the world is there a chicken in our army he is carrying the tight speaker man around what in the world and actually i do have one really good idea somewhere over here i should have a hidden chest with something really cool inside and perfect look there it is let's go ahead and see what i have it wait i have a cake what in the world am i gonna do with a cake it's literally just cake well i did hear once a long time ago if you feed your army cake they'll get super big and strong so maybe if i put down a bunch of cake they'll all just transform to be huge giants and oh wait a second what in the world just happened my army just got super small i am literally the same height as all my tight speaker men okay that definitely didn't work whoever told me that is a complete and utter liar <sighs> well i guess it isn't that big deal after all they are tight speaker men so they should be able to defeat no he's army no problem but what do you guys think who's gonna win this first round you can either comment team speaker man or you can comment team ufo okay zoe well i think my army is basically ready to go for this first round are you ready for me to drop the walls i am beyond ready you are so going down well let's see about that zoe the walls have officially dropped uh dax why is there so much cake on the ground uh well someone told me a long time ago that cake makes your army strong but it really just made my guy super short yeah dax the cake just shrinks your army didn't you know that well obviously not zoe that's why i put down a bunch of cake but it looks like it doesn't even matter my tight speaker men are going to work on all your ufo toilets that's true they're like easily picking my guys up and everything this is not good come on guys keep beating them up show zoe that size doesn't matter and you can still win this but you really didn't even spawn in that many people dax i don't know if you're gonna win this oh come on i have total faith in my tight speaker man. they could definitely pull this out this is just chaos in the middle but it looks like my tight speaker men are going to work you only have one guy left and boom zoe it looks like i won this first round in the mob battle you're a loser what the heck 
I thought for sure I was going to win with my astronaut toilets. Well, definitely not, Zoe. They obviously completely suck, which makes me the champion of the mob battle. Nuh-uh. You're not the champion of the mob battle. You're just the champion of the first round. The second round and the third round, I'm going to win. Okay, we'll see about that, Zoe. Let's move on to round number two. And perfect, guys. Just like I told you, we totally won that first round, which makes me the ultimate mob battle player ever. But of course, I need to win the second round as well. So let's go ahead and spy through the glass and see what Zoe's doing. And wait, why in the world is she on a computer right now? So it looks like the research says that the glitch toilet is sure to deliver a win during a mob battle. Let's see if my chest has one. Wait, did she just say a glitch toilet was the one that was told that was going to win the mob battle? What the heck? She can't use the internet. And I have one. Yippee, it's my lucky day. What in the world? These guys are so creepy. Ew, the glitch toilet looks kind of gross. Yeah, these glitch toilets are kind of weird looking, but I know that they're super powerful. So I'm going to spawn in a whole bunch of them. Okay, guys, I can't believe she used the internet. That is absolutely cheating, but don't worry. I can think of something good regardless. Let's just look at our chest and see what we got. And ooh, this one looks cool. It says the scientist toilet. If you didn't know, the scientist toilet is extremely strong. So I bet if I spot him in, I could totally crush Zoe's army. Let's see what this guy looks like. And whoa, this guy looks really, really freaky. Hey, you, don't call me freaky. Whoa, 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 wait, what the heck? You can talk? Well, yeah, of course I can talk. I am a skibbity toilet leader after all. What in the world? That doesn't mean you can talk. I've never even heard of anything like that before. Well, you've heard of it now. So what are we going to do about it? Uh, well, probably nothing. I need you to help me beat all those glitch toilets over there. I should probably spawn in a bunch more of you guys. No, 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 you stupid green man. You better not spawn in more. Wait, what in the world? Why can't I spawn in more scientist toilets? You really think you need more than just me in order to beat Zoe's army? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I do think I need more than just you. You stupid human. I'm all you need. Okay, man, take it easy. If you think that you're all that I need in order to beat Zoe's army, I guess I can only just spawn in you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, guys, this scientist toilet is super weird. I'm gonna kind of just leave him alone and let him do his own thing. Well, even if I can't spawn in more people, maybe I could think of something really good that could help me out. And what the heck is this guy building? Hey, you stupid scientist toilet. What in the world are you doing? Hey, you, what are you talking to me like that for? Why are you building this random stuff on my site? This is a mob battle. Well, considering I'm one of your mobs, I can do whatever I want in order to get the victory. Okay, well, that honestly might be true. But what the heck even is this? Well, once I'm done with my contraption, all of Zoe's mobs will become flat. Wait, did you just say all of her mobs will become flat? What in the world does that even mean? What in the world is that even gonna do? You stupid human, just wait and see. Uh, okay, well, while you're doing that, I'm gonna head over here. Just let me know when you're done, I guess. Okay, guys, this scientist toilet is really weird, but he said all of Zoe's mobs are gonna get flat. I wonder what he means by that. Okay, human, I'm done. Okay, you said you're done. I wanna see what the world this thing does. And whoa, there's a lot more blocks this time around. Well, yeah, I am the scientist after all. I'm a super big genius. Well, okay, you might be a genius, but what in the world is this thing you're supposed to do? Well, in the back of here, I have a little button. And basically, once you press this button, all of her armies gonna get super small. Okay, I really don't believe you, but I guess I can go ahead and flick it and see what it does. Yeah, go ahead and flick it whatever you want. And, oh, uh, wait a second. Did it actually work? Well, of course it worked. I'm the one that built it. What in the world? Look at all of Zoe's mobs. They're so flat now. What in the world? Why are all my mobs flat? Oh my gosh, guys. This is so funny. Look how flat Zoe's mobs are. I bet she's so annoyed right now. This is not good, but maybe they're still just as powerful. <laughs> what? She thinks they're as strong as they were before? Look at them. They look so stupid. There's no way they could be nearly as powerful. Okay, well, it definitely looks like her army's destroyed over there. Let me go ahead and talk to Mr. Scientist Toilet. Hey, Mr. Scientist Toilet, is there anything else you can do to make sure we win this round? Oh, don't worry, Dax. I actually have one thing up my sleeve that I'm gonna press once the walls drop. Uh, okay. He has one thing up his sleeve. I wonder what that's gonna do, but I totally trust you now that I saw this. Yeah, you better trust me, you stupid human. And actually, why he's still building that, maybe I should look at Zoe's side real quick. And of course, in order to get over there, I'm gonna need to grab myself an invisibility potion, and then I can just splash it on myself so I can walk over there. Let's go ahead and see what she's up to. And oh my gosh, guys, we're over to Zoe's side. And look at her army. This is so funny. Look how flat they are. And wait, what in the world is Zoe doing over here? I guess I can't do anything about my army, so I'm just gonna plant a garden. Oh my gosh, guys, she's actually planting a garden in the middle of a mob battle. That is actually really, really funny. What's something I could do to mess with her a little bit, though? Oh, wait a second. I have the perfect idea. What if I grab this one dynamite called the lightning dynamite and then throw it down? Let's just go ahead and throw this lightning down in the middle and oh my gosh, look at that. What the heck? Was that lightning? That is super weird. Okay, guys, it doesn't even look like it affected Zoe that much. Sissy thinks it was just normal lightning. So what if I go ahead and throw a few different sticks of dynamite? What the heck is going on? It's almost like the game is glitching. Oh, it must be my glitch toilets. That makes total sense. Wait, she thinks her glitch toilets are glitching out and it's causing all the lightning? That is a little bit weird. Well, I think my glitch toilets are probably going to need some help. So I think I'm going to spawn in the zombie toilet. Wait, did she just say she's going to spawn in the zombie toilet? 
that. What in the world even is that? It, ew, these guys are so gross. Whoa, these guys are weirder looking than the freaking glitch toilets. This is going to be awesome. Oh my gosh, guys, this is not looking good for me. Well, now that we have like 30 seconds left, I think I'm just going to relax because the walls are going to drop any second now. Wait, guys, did Zoe just say that there's only 30 seconds left? Oh gosh, quick, let me get back over to my side. Let me just drink a bucket of milk and wait a second. What in the world is a scientist toilet doing? Hey, Mr. Silas's toilet, what in the world are you doing? Why is there a piece of TNT here? Well, this is what I'm using in order to destroy Zoe's army. Dude, that is totally going to destroy our whole platform. Are you stupid or something? No, just trust me, Dax. I know what I'm doing. Uh, okay, whatever. It doesn't even matter. Okay, Zoe, I think there's only like 10 seconds left until the walls drop. Are you ready for this round? I am so ready. You're totally going down. Just wait until the walls drop. Dax, why did you spawn in only one guy? Oh, this is the scientist toilet, and he said he could actually take out your whole army by himself. Yeah, I don't know if that's true. It seems pretty unlikely for one guy to defeat my whole army. Dax, who is this dumb purple girl talking to? Just watch this. Dax, you're gonna let this guy call your girlfriend dumb? Where in the world does TNT just go? What in the world did you do, scientist toilet? What's that noise? Just wait, Dax. Everything's under control. Zoe, what in the world just happened? My scientist toilet just blew up everything. Yeah, Dax, that really wasn't a smart idea to trust an evil scientist. And wait a second. Some of your glitch toys are still alive. How is this even possible? And you know what that means. Oh my gosh. I guess you got the round win. This stupid scientist toilet. And wait, where in the world did it even go? He probably died in the explosion. I didn't trust that guy from the start. Oh my gosh, whatever. Okay, I guess you could have that round win, Zoe. Let's just move on to the next round. Woohoo, I'm the winner. Guys, what in the world just happened? I can't believe the scientist toilet just got the whole platform blown up and he even blew up himself. That guy's such an idiot. Ugh, whatever. Let me just go ahead and see what Zoe's gonna do for this next round and I can win this round all by myself. I am so stoked that I beat Dax. I'm really gonna win this entire mob battle. This round, I think I'm gonna spawn in the TV woman because she's one of my favorite Skibbity characters. Wait, did Zoe just spawn in the TV woman? Whoa, she actually looks super, super powerful. And you know what's better than one TV woman? A bunch of TV women. Oh my gosh. And she is of course spawning in a whole bunch of them, guys. But don't worry, guys. I can definitely think of something super good to take them all out. Let's just go ahead and think of something good to spawn in. And wait a second, the scientist toilet, what are you doing back here? Oh, hey, Dax, how's it going? What don't hey, Dax, me? You just made me lose that last round. Are you dumb or something? Hey, man, it was a malfunction in my experiment. It totally wasn't my fault. Uh, whatever. Well, what are you doing back here anyways? If you want to trust me for one more round, I actually have something really good that could help you out. Trust you for one more round? Uh, I don't know. You already kind of got me screwed over. Just trust me, Dax. I have something super good on my sleeve. Okay, well, what is it? I'm going to make you a combining machine so you can combine two different skibbity bobs to get an ultra one. Whoa, wait, that actually sounds kind of cool. How are you even going to build it? Oh, well, just watch this. Whoa, wait, what in the world? Did you just make this combining machine? Well, yeah, of course I did. I am the scientist toilet after all. Okay, this is pretty sick, but wait, what mobs am I even supposed to use? Go ahead and use all three of these spawn eggs, and then you can get the ultimate skibbity character. Wait, all three of these spawn eggs? Let's see. We got the Titan Speaker Man, the upgraded TV man, and we also got the upgraded cameraman. Are you sure about this scientist toilet? Oh, yeah. Have I ever been wrong before? Uh, yeah, you were actually wrong last round, but I guess I can try this out. So it looks like I need to go over here, and then I can spawn in the cameraman, and let's also spawn in the speaker man on this side. And then I can just run over to this other side and then I can spot in the upgraded TV man. And I guess all I have to do is flick the lever and let's see what it ends up doing. And whoa, wait a second. Did I just make the tri-type scientist toilet? You're such a genius. And wait, where in the world did he just go? Okay, it looks like the scientist toilet just disappeared again. But all the combination of all those titans got us the tri titan who's supposed to be like one of those strongest characters ever. Let's go ahead and grab this guy's spawn egg. And then I can spot in a whole bunch of them. And wait, are Zoe's glitch toilet still down there? Oh gosh, those are really, really creepy. But like I said, I'm gonna spot in a bunch of these guys so let me go ahead and start placing them all down okay guys in perfect now that my whole army is entirely built out we should probably go check up on zoe and see what she's doing and wait why does she have a house here and wait is that a pool perfect my house is complete and i even put a pool in for me wait why in the world does she have a house and why did she even build a pool this is a mob battle after all okay guys we cannot allow her to have this much fun so why don't i prank her real quick and i actually have this one mod that allows me to transform into any character i want and right now i want to transform into the tv woman so i can prank zoe and since I look like all of her characters over there, I can just walk over to her side without even getting noticed. Okay, guys, and perfectly, I made it over to her side, and we look just like all the TV women. Oh my gosh, I can't believe Zoe's actually relaxing inside of a pool and 
the middle of a mob battle. This is just insane. Wow, I am so happy that I made this pool because I am relaxing and having so much fun. You know what, guys? Let's go ahead and mess with her real quick. And I think what we should do is grab something called fake water. And now if I just walk over here and place a bunch of it on the ground, she'll start taking a bunch of damage inside of her pool. What the heck? Why am I drowning? It seems like I'm getting hurt from the water. Oh my gosh, guys. And look, it looks like she just realized that the water hurt her. This is so funny. And wait, it just took her out? What the heck? My water killed me. This is the worst pool ever. Hey, Zoe, uh, the chat just said that you died to poisonous water. Is everything okay over there? No, nothing's okay. I built a pool and it ended up killing me. Wait, Zoe, you said you built a pool in the middle of the mob battle. What in the world is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. I just wanted to relax. And wait, the pool took you out. How in the world did it do that? I have no clue, but this is the first time it's ever happened to me. Uh, Zoe, let me ask you a question real quick, okay? What is it? When is the last time you cleaned the water in your pool? Clean the water? What are you talking about? Zoe, you have to clean the water like every week. Otherwise, it gets super poisonous. What? I've had this pool forever and it's never done that. And nobody's ever told me that. Well, Zoe, you have to clean the pool water. You should probably go ahead and work on that. Okay, I'll start working on that. Let me go into my house and see if I have any pool cleaner lying around. Oh, guys, this is perfect. Zoe went inside our house, which means I could mess with her a bit more. Last time we actually used this fake water, but now I think I'm gonna use this fake lava, which actually heals you if you go in it. Let me just go ahead and fill it all in with this fake lava. And this should be perfect. Once she comes back outside, she's gonna be so confused. Okay, Dax, I found some pool cleaner, so I just need to splash it on the water? What the heck? Why is my pool full of lava? Oh my gosh, guys, she sees all the lava. Uh, Zoe, did you just say your pool's full of lava? Yes. Is that pretty normal? Uh, maybe you're colorblind. Maybe it actually is water. First, my pool kills me, and now I'm colorblind? What am I gonna do? Okay, Zoe, wait. We don't know if you're colorblind yet. How about we do a little test real quick? How do you want me to test it? Well, why don't you just go ahead and jump into that stuff you're calling lava and see if it really is lava? Okay, here goes nothing. What? I'm not even dying. I guess I really am colorblind. Oh gosh, Zoe, it must be water after all. You really are going colorblind. This isn't good. What am I gonna do, Dax? How am I gonna see my favorite color purple ever again? Uh, I don't know, Zoe, but I'm gonna head back to my side and finish up my army while you deal with that stuff. Go back on your side? What do you mean? Uh, nothing, Zoe. Let's just get ready for the round to start. Oh my gosh, guys. Wait, that was way too close. I almost just gave away my secret, but I think we kind of convinced Zoe that she's going colorblind, so that is pretty funny after all. But like we said, the walls are about to drop, so who do you guys think is gonna win? You can either comment Team Tri-Titan, or you can comment Team Team TV woman. Okay, Zoe, well, I'm pretty sure the walls are about to drop. Are you ready for this next round? I am ready and I am colorblind. Yeah, Zoe, I can't believe you're actually colorblind, but let's see how this next round turns out. What the heck? This is Mayhem. Is that a Tri Titan? Yes, this is the Tri Titan. He's a combination of all three Skibbity Titans and he's ultra powerful. This is not going to be good for my TV women. Come on, guys. We can totally beat up all the TV women. And wait, Zoe, why do you have a house here? Because I got bored after I spawned in all my TV women, so I built a house. Uh, that's a little bit confusing, but whatever. I guess it really does make that big of a difference since you're losing anyways. So, am I really losing? Uh, I mean, it looks like it's losing. Zoe, you're colorblind, not completely blind. You can see the fight. Oh no, what the heck? I thought I was gonna win. Hey, why are your Tri-Titans after me? Oh gosh, wait, they're jumping you too? Oh no, Zoe, it looks like you're about to lose too. Haha. <laughs> no, I'm gonna start killing your guys. Uh, Zoe, it doesn't look like you're gonna be able to do that. I think you're definitely gonna lose. No, I still have half a heart left. You only have half a heart? Yeah, you are totally going down. What if I just go ahead and push you back in and wait, what? You got stuck inside of there? Oh, man, but one of them got left in. Yeah, it looks like he did get let in, Zoe, but I think your army lost that round, which means the score is now two to one. That's okay, because there's still a few rounds left for me to win, and then I can be the mob battle champion. I doubt it, Zoe. Let's move on to round number four. In perfect, guys, we completely crushed Zoe in that last round, which means I only need one round left in order to win. So let's go ahead and spy through our one-way glass and see what Zoe's gonna try and pull off for this next round. For this fourth round, I'm gonna spawn in the upgraded Titan cameraman. Wait, did she just spawn in the upgraded Titan cameraman. Whoa, this guy actually looks pretty cool. And this guy's supposed to be super OP, so I'm gonna spawn in a whole bunch of them. Okay, guys, she is spawning in a whole bunch of them, but honestly, I don't really think it makes that big of a difference. Well, I'm guessing if Zoe wants to spawn in the upgraded Titan cameraman, I should probably spawn in the upgraded Titan TV man. Let's go ahead and put this guy down over here, and oh my gosh, look how big this guy is. He looks so overpowered, and I'm sure once I spawn in a bunch of them, they're gonna completely wipe Zoe's army off the face of the map. So let's go ahead and spawn in a few more. And wait a second, it says 
error limit reached what the heck does that mean oh no guys i can't even spot it any more mobs what in the world am i gonna do i've never seen a limit error reach before but uh huh i have to think of something and wait a second what if i built a nether portal to go talk to one of my friends i'm sure he could help me out let me just go ahead and build a portal just like this and then all i have to do is light it up and now i can go inside and talk to one of my friends and oh my gosh guys look it looks like we made it to this skibbity dom dimension and wow he has so many diamonds and gold this guy is so rich but hey skibbity dom how's it going Oh, hey, Dax. I haven't seen you in a minute. What the heck? Wait, what happened to your voice? Are you sick or something? Oh, yeah. I've been super sick the past few days, so my voice is a little bit screwed up. Uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna need a little bit of help in a mob battle if you can help me out again. What seems to be the problem? Well, I tried to spawn in more than one mob, but it really didn't go well. The system said I couldn't spawn it anymore, so I need to get my guy all OP and stuff. Oh, you need to get your guy OP. Well, I have just the thing inside of this chest. Oh, inside of this chest right here? Well, can I go in? Of course you can. It has super good stuff for you. Okay, well, let's see what you got in here and whoa what is this it says the op mob book but wait it says protection four what in the world is that don't worry about that protection four part it's actually just super strong if you click on any of your characters they'll get ultra ultra enchanted uh okay skimmy dop i'm gonna trust you and just go back to the mob arena i hope you get better best of luck dax guys that was super weird but i mean at least he gave us his op mob book i've never heard of something like this before but let's go ahead and click on this guy and see what it does and whoa look at this he's super shiny and glow now and since he's all shiny and glowy it might actually be true that he's gonna be ultra overpowered i'm pretty sure this guy can take out all of zoe's army himself i mean look how big and tall and strong he is in perfect i think now i'm basically ready for the wall strip my army is gonna be so powerful okay now i just need to splash some of this op potion on some of my mobs so they can get super powerful wait what did zoe just say where in the world is she she's just splashing an op potion on her mobs what in the world is she even doing she said that's an op potion guys this is super weird but don't worry i'm pretty sure Skimmy Dop has us in the back, and I can totally win this. Hey, Zoe, are you ready for the wall to drop for this next round? Heck yeah, I'm ready to win. And here we go. It looks like the fourth round in our mob battle has officially begun. Whoa, why is your guy glowing? Because he's super ultra powered. I got an OP potion that I actually used on him. Hey, I have an OP potion too. Wait, where in the world did you get that OP potion from? My friend Skibbity Bob. Wait, Skibbity Dop, he gave me one too. What the heck? That two timey weasel. Oh my gosh, this is so messed up, but I still think my TV man can pull off this round win. Come on, my Titan TV man can totally win this. You're going to lose the mob battle once and for all, Zoe. No way. I have so many more mobs than you. Just wait and see. My Titan TV man can totally win this. And what the heck? He just got taken out. What were you saying, Dax? Your Titan TV man can totally take what? Oh my gosh. Whatever, Zoe. The score is only two to two. I'm totally going to beat you in this last round. Don't get too confident. Dax, I'm definitely going to win the tiebreaker and I'll be the mob battle champion. Guys, what in the world? I can't believe Skimmy Dop actually betrayed us and helped that Zoe in that last round. That totally wasn't fair. But I totally need to win this last round in order to be the mob battle champion. So hopefully I can think of something really good to take out Zoe's army with. Let's see what she's going to try and do. For this last and final round, I'm going to spawn in all of my old mobs. Wait, did she just say she's going to spawn in all of her old mobs? You know what? That's actually not too bad of an idea. Zoe's kind of smart. With an army this big and this diverse, there's no way that Dax is going to win. Okay, guys, Zoe might actually be right unless I do the same exact thing that she did. Let's go ahead and start spawning in a bunch of my mobs because I totally want to destroy it in that that last round and wait a second it looks like that limiter kind of went away i can just spawn in as many as i want now this is perfect okay let me go ahead and spawn in some tight speaker man like this and this is probably gonna be the craziest round ever who do you think is gonna win this final round you can either comment team dax or you can comment team zoe okay zoe i think my army is basically ready to go for this final round and just let me tell you you're about to lose once and for all yeah i seriously doubt that my army is super powerful but let's go ahead and drop the wall and let's see well here we go the walls have officially dropped let's see if you can back up all that trash talking i surely will and wait a second so wait, it looks like you spotted all of your old mobs that's honestly a pretty good idea yeah and it looks like you did the same your mobs are super big yeah my mobs are super big and super strong i don't think there's any chance you could actually pull this round out you never know dax i can definitely still win come on guys we have to win this we cannot lose to zoe and whoa a bunch of people are dropping now i have no idea who's even winning what the heck a lot of people are dropping this is not good for me this is such a close round man all your mobs are so tiny it's like impossible to tell yeah and your guys are so big so actually my guys are dodging them quite easily no way i think my people could still pull this out i have a bunch of titan tv man and a bunch of titan speaker man after all yeah but 
but I still think that I can win. Come on, Team Zoe, you got this. Uh, Zoe, I don't think you have that many people left. They're all inside the house and they're all getting jumped. This is not good. And wait, I think that might have been your last person. Zoe, I think I officially won the mob battle. Dang it. I really thought I was going to win this time. Ha, <laughs> Zoe, your army completely sucked. And of course, I'm the mob battle champion once again. Whatever, Dax. Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my girlfriend. But what she doesn't know is I'm going to be hiring the TV woman to help me cheat. Well, Zoe, are you excited for today's skibbity mob battle? I am so excited. I've never been so confident that I'm going to be the winner. Okay, Zoe, we can go through this door right here and you're going to have five minutes to spawn in your mobs. Best of luck. Good luck, Dax. And perfect, guys. Now that Zoe went to her side and we're on to our very first round, we can go ahead and get the help of the TV woman to completely destroy her in this mob battle. Hi, Dax. What are we doing today? We are going to be doing a mob battle and hopefully you can help me cheat to destroy Zoe. I think that we can definitely beat her. Well, the first issue that we have, TV woman, is that we have this huge bedrock wall here and I have no idea when Zoe's going to spot it. Do you have anything that can help me out? Yep, I have just the thing. I have this camera monitor that you can look into and see exactly what Zoe's doing. Wait, you have a camera monitor? What in the world does this do? And wait a second, what in the world I can actually see on Zoe's side with these cameras? This is literally so cool. I can cheat and see exactly what she's going to spawn in. For this first round, I think I'm going to spawn in just the regular skibbity toilet. Wait, did Zoe just say she's going to spawn in the regular skibbity toilet? Literally, these things look so garbage. Why in the world would she even use these? Perfect. These guys look amazing. I'm definitely going to win this round. And what? What the heck, TV woman? This camera monitor was literally so cool. I told you. I'm really good at this. Yeah, that was awesome. Okay, wait. Zoe spotted like some super trash mobs, which are definitely not going to win her this round, but we need to think of something. What should we spawn in? Honestly, I have no clue. Uh, okay, well, maybe let's get back to the middle and what the heck? Wait a second. Where did this forest come from? What are you talking about, Dax? This has been here the whole time. But TV woman, this has literally not been here the whole time. What in the world are you talking about? What are you talking about? You must need to get your eyes checked. Oh my gosh, but wait, there's a little path wait there's a chest at the end maybe we should just walk in here together because hey don't leave me behind tv but i'm really scared of everything okay okay i'm coming i'm coming okay let's see and man these trees are super super spooky but i want to see inside of this chest let's go ahead and look inside and what the heck is this thing it says it's the big tv man wait what the heck oh the big tv man that guy's super strong wait the big tv man aren't you like the tv woman so wait did you like spawn this big tv man egg in here i have no clue what you're talking about dax but i think you should definitely use that spawn egg for this first round. Okay, TV woman, I think you're up to something super, super slick, but let's go ahead and see what this big TV man looks like. And oh my gosh, this guy's like 50 feet tall. Perfect. He's definitely gonna he deliver you that win. And I bet if I spotted a whole bunch of them, there's absolutely no way that Zoe's army can win since she just spotted a bunch of default skibbity toilets. Yeah, you'll definitely win against those skibbity toilets. Okay, let me just go ahead and spot a few big TV men. And whoa, this round's gonna be so cool. Oh, sweet. An upgrade post. Potion. It's my lucky day. Wait, did Zoe just say she found an upgrade potion? Let me go ahead and look through the cameras and see what she's doing. And what the heck is she holding in her hands? Now I just have to use this upgrade potion on my mobs and they'll get super strong. Wait, what the heck is this gonna do? And what the heck? Wait, they turned into G-Men? What in the world even is this? Oh no, Dax, what are we gonna do? Well, I honestly don't really have a lot of great ideas, TV one, but what if we go ahead and use this mob enchantment book? Maybe that could help a little bit. But what does a mob enchantment book do? Oh, let me just show you, Tifa. But basically, if I click on any of these mobs around here, they'll start glowing, which gives them super ultra enchantment powers. And whoa, look at the big TV man. Doesn't he look so cool right now? Wow, now he's glowing. That is so cool. Yeah, and now let me go ahead and go ahead and click on the rest of my army. And we only have like five people, so this really shouldn't take us that long. And perfect army looks so powerful. Now there's no way we can lose TV woman. Dax, time's up. We have to drop the walls. Wait a second. Did Zoe just say that time's up? Oh no, TV woman, you're gonna have to hide. Otherwise, Zoe is gonna see that we're cheating. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Okay, and what the heck? Did you just open a grass block? Dax, I don't care that you need more time. I'm dropping off the walls. And oh my goodness, Zoe, you actually dropped the walls. What's wrong with you? Time is up, Dax. What do you expect? Oh my goodness, but whoa, you spawned in a bunch of G-Men and these guys totally look scary. And you spawned in the big TV men. Yeah, I did spawn in the big TV men and they're totally gonna destroy all of these G-Men. Don't even worry, Zoe. I'm not worried. My G-Men are super strong. But wait, where did this forest come from? Honestly, Zoe, I have no idea. I just turned my back and then it appeared out of nowhere. It was totally crazy. Oh no, it looks like people are starting to take a bunch of damage. Come on, I have to win this. Come on, big TV men. It looks like you're losing. 
Wait, no, I have one guy left and no way. None of your G-Man died. Sorry, Dax. Maybe you should choose better mobs next time. Oh my gosh. Okay, your army was way too strong, but don't worry. So I'm totally smacking you next round. Yeah, I seriously doubt it. Oh my gosh, guys. I can't believe Zoe just completely smacked us around that last round. Oh, this really sucks. Okay, let's go ahead and find the TV so she can help us out again. And I think she was underneath this rose right here. Let's see. And uh, TV, but uh, oh, look, there you are. Hi, Dax. I can't believe it, TV, but we actually lost the last round. No way. That big TV man was supposed to be super duper powerful. I know. I have no idea how we lost, but hey, at least we could use these camera on as a spy on Zoe again, right? Yeah, let's look through them. Let's go ahead and see and look at... Wait a second. It says the cameras aren't available anymore. What the heck happened? Oh, no. When the wall dropped, I guess it broke the cameras. Oh, wait. You're absolutely right. Once the wall dropped, the cameras got broke. What in the world are we going to do? Dax, I have this thing called the one-way glass converter. Wait, what the heck is a one-way glass converter, TV? But what the heck is this? If you walk up to the bedrock wall and you click on it, that means it's going to turn into one-way glass. Wait, TV, why don't you literally give this to me the first round instead of us using cameras. This is so much better. Dax, I can only share so many bright ideas with you at a time. Let me just go ahead and walk up to this huge bedrock wall and just click on it. And wait a second, what in the world is actually turned into one-way class? And wait, what in the world is Zoe trying to spawn in this round? This round, I'm going to spawn in the Titan Speaker Man. And what the heck? This guy is literally like 100,000 feet tall. Where did Zoe even get these from? Whoa, these guys are huge. I'm going to spawn in a whole bunch of them. That way, I can definitely win. Oh my goodness, this is so rigged. Okay, TV, what we definitely need to think of something. Okay, t but I actually have a really, really good idea for this route, but don't get mad, okay? Um, what is it? What if I just take your spawn egg and then we can have a huge TV woman army? What the heck? You're just gonna use me for my spawn egg? Uh, yeah. I mean, aren't you like super powerful so you could totally help us win? Fine. I guess you can do it. Okay, let's just grab your spawn egg. And perfect. Now that we have your spawn egg, I can go ahead and just spawn a bunch of TV women across our whole wall. It says it's the TV woman. After all, we totally should win, right? Yeah, I'm like the best Skibbity character and I'm the strongest and the prettiest. Yeah, you definitely are. But honestly, I should probably go ahead and use this enchantment book on a bunch of them too to make them super strong. Speaking of strong, why don't you go into Zoe's inventory and steal her upgrade potion? Wait, go into Zoe's inventory and steal her upgrade potion? That's actually a super genius idea, TV woman. I know, I'm super smart. All I have to do is type in this command down here and oh my goodness, guys, look, I can see inside of Zoe's inventory. And wait, is that the upgrade potion right there? Let's just go ahead and take this out of Zoe's inventory and perfect. Now we have it on our side and we can use it to make our TV woman super strong. What the heck? What happened to my upgrade potion? It just disappeared appeared from my inventory. Wait a second, guys. I think Zoe actually noticed it. Oh, no. I forgot to make a copy of the upgrade potion, so we literally just took it away from her. Hopefully, she doesn't get mad or anything. It was probably just a lag. I'm sure it'll come back in a little bit. Oh, thank goodness. And actually, since Zoe said it's probably going to come back in a little bit, what if I go ahead and type in that same command, and I just put one of these inside of her inventory, and boom, now she should notice that it's all back. Perfect. It came back. I told you it was just a lag. Okay, but now we need to go ahead and splash this on our army, so let's go ahead and drop a bunch of them on all of our TV women. And whoa, look how big our TV woman got. There is no way we could lose. I know. We are definitely winning this round and Zoe is going down. Yeah, no lies about that. But wait a second. I still think we have a little bit of time left. So what if I went invisible and prank Zoe? That would be so funny. What are you going to do? I have no idea. But in order to get on Zoe's side, I'm probably going to need to turn invisible. So let me just go ahead and go in here and grab myself an invisibility motion. And then I can just splash it on myself and I'll be back, TV woman. Bye, Dax. Have fun. Okay, now that I'm invisible, I can just fly over this wall and Whoa, look how many people Zoe spawned in. This is totally not good for us. Wow, my army is so big and so strong. There's no way that Dax is going to win. I don't even know why he tries. Yeah, her army is really big and super strong. So what if I took out a few of them? I can walk around using this one thing called the mob killer and basically just click on a bunch of these guys and they'll all instantly get taken out. She is going to be so mad when she realizes that her army is dropping like flies. Wait a sec. What's going on over here? Oh, and wait a second, guys. So we just saw some of her mobs drop. I swear. Where I just saw some of my mobs drop. What's happening? Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna have to be a little bit more careful since Zoe is flying around and now she's really, really suspicious about what's going on. So let's just go ahead and fly to the other side over here. And now I can click on a bunch of these guys. And man, this is so funny. Let's just go ahead and take out one of these guys. And man, this is gonna be so funny. And what the heck? Zoe just walked in front of me. Dax, it just said you killed me. You're the one that's killing my mobs. Wait, no, Zoe, that literally wasn't me. Uh, maybe one of your mobs malfunctioned and it also has the name Dax. Uh, Dax, it was definitely you that just killed me. 
Uh, no, Zoe, I promise you, I'm working super hard on my army since you beat me in the first one. I wouldn't even dare to mess with you because you're so strong and powerful. Yeah, you're right, Dax. I am pretty strong and I am pretty powerful, so I guess I believe you. Oh my goodness, guys, that was way too close. Okay, how about we just fly back over our wall and stop messing with Zoe for now since we almost got caught. Now, let me just go ahead and grab myself a milk bucket so I can get rid of this invisibility and perfect. Now I'm all back to normal. And uh, wait a second, where in the world did the TV woman go? I can't see her anywhere. Uh, Dax, I'm underneath your side because I know that the walls are gonna drop soon. Oh, that's so smart. Okay, good job, TV woman. I'm gonna have Zoe, she's ready for this round to start. Okay, good luck. Okay, Zoe, well, my army's basically already ready to go for this second round. Are you excited? for the walls to drop yep let's do this thing and here we go it looks like the walls have officially dropped and whoa you have a bunch of titans and man they're getting completely destroyed zoe what the heck just happened i have no clue how did the titan tv man go down that fast uh zoe this is the tv woman and she's like extremely strong of course she would take all those titans out but why are they even this big oh zoe actually before the round started i fed my army a bunch of cake and it made them like 20 feet tall cake mobs can't eat cake what are you even talking about uh yes they can zoe why don't you just try it next round okay okay i guess i will and perfect guys we completely destroyed zoe man it was so smart that we used the tv woman she was just way too overpowered but now i need to focus up and win this third round let's see what zoe is gonna try and do Ooh, for this round i'm gonna choose a deadly combo parasite toilet and the knife toilet wait she's using the parasite toilet and the knife toilet what the heck these guys are so spooky whoa these guys are super creepy looking i'm gonna spawn in a whole bunch of them so they creep dax out oh my my gosh, guys, Zoe is literally spotting in so many. What the heck am I supposed to do? Well, we're definitely going to need the TV woman's help this round if we want any chance at winning. So let's see. Uh, TV woman, are you anywhere here? Uh, TV woman, what the heck? Where are you? Maybe she's just stuck behind this hole over here. Let's just go ahead and look. And wait, there's a sign right here. What the heck does this sign say? It says fighting skibbity army be back in round four wait what she's fighting the skibbity army is she isn't gonna be back to the fourth round how in the world am i supposed to win without the tv woman's help she's literally like too strong let's think what's something really really strong that i could use to help me win man this is way too difficult hey you dax wait who in the world just called my name and what the heck wait is that skibbity top in there hey dax how's it going skibbity top you're the perfect person that i needed i need a ton of help in this mob battle and uh wait a second why in the world did it just put me in survival? Well, I can totally help you in this mob battle, bro. But if you want help, you're going to have to complete this parkour. That's why you're in survival. Wait, I have to do all this parkour over lava? What the heck? What if I fall in? Well, if you fall in, I guess you just lose. Oh my goodness. Then I have to do all this parkour. Let's go ahead and see if I can do this. And man, I'm already super, super scared. This is really difficult parkour. Come on, Dax. Stop being a baby. You can totally do this. Hey, Skimmy Dop, stop being mean. I'm trying my best. Only a few jumps left. Come on, come on. And I'm on to the last jump and perfect. I made it over. Now can I go ahead and open the chest and get whatever's there to help me? Yeah, I could open the chest for you, but there's one condition you have to meet. What the heck? I thought the one condition was this parkour over lava. What else do I have to do? Well, you don't have to do anything, but everyone that's watching has to subscribe in the next five seconds for it to open. Wait, what? Everyone subscribe in five seconds? Come on, guys. Quick subscribe in three two, one. Okay, Skimmy Dop, everyone subscribe. Now you have to open up the chest and give me whatever's inside. Oh yeah, bro. The passcode is just one, one, one. Wait, there is no way that the passcode is actually just one, 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 one. There is no way. And what the heck? It actually opened it. Wait, what are these? These are two super strong Skimmy characters. You have the upgraded Titan TV man and you also have the camera ninja. Wait, what? Both of these guys sound insanely strong. Oh uh, yeah, I literally just said that, dude. Pay attention. And since I have these guys now, I can totally destroy Zoe. Thank you so much, Skimmy up. Of course, Dax. So be careful on the parkour on the way back. Oh, you don't have to worry at all, Skimmy Dop. I am super, super good at this parkour. Just watch this. I'm already almost all the way back and perfect. I made it now. Let's just go ahead and run through this portal and now I can spawn in all these super overpowered mobs. And actually, I should probably see if Skimmy Dop keeps wanting to help me out and what the heck? Literally, the portal closed? Why does it always do that? Well, let's just go ahead and spawn in the camera ninja and whoa, this guy looks super, super cool. He has like four different plungers and I'm sure he can stick this to the face of all those ugly toilets and totally flush them. And then we also have the upgraded TV man. And whoa, this guy looks super muscular and ripped. Okay, am I supposed to a huge combination of the both of these guys? There's probably no shot that Zoe could win. And actually, who do you guys think is going to win in this third round? You can either comment Team Dax or you can comment Team Zoe. And oh, wait a second, guys. I actually have another super good idea. If I walk over here by this portal, I should have a hidden trapdoor somewhere. And oh my goodness, look at that. I have a hidden chest down here. And if I go inside, I have this super cool thing called the personal shrinking device. Basically, I 
can make any mob whatever height I want to. So let's just go ahead and walk up to this Titan TV man here and click on him. And whoa, now he's even bigger, which means he's even stronger. Okay, let's go ahead and click on these guys. And I can kick on a bunch of these camera people over here. And there's no way I can lose with an army this big. Um, Dax, didn't you say that cake would make my army taller? Oh, yeah. So I did say that cake would make your army taller. You're about to use some cake to make him even bigger? Yep, sure am. Gonna give it a try this round. Oh, my gosh, guys. What Zoe doesn't know is actually cake makes them super small. So this is gonna be really hilarious. Dax, thank you so much for telling me about that cake thing. I'm definitely gonna use it to my advantage this round. Yeah, no problem, Zoe. And oh, my goodness, guys. Look at that. They all just shrunk down. Oh, no. My mom's got all small. What the heck? Dax. Uh, hey, Zoe. What's up? What happened? I gave my... My mom's cake and they got smaller wait they all got smaller that's super weird i've never had anything like that happen before yeah i'm sure you haven't you told me that my moms are gonna get big and strong uh yeah zoe maybe i lied a little bit and i actually knew they were gonna get super small whatever dax i'm gonna use this god potion to make my mom super duper strong so hopefully i can still win wait a god potion and uh zoe it's literally not doing anything what are you even talking about dax how would you know uh because i can hear it and uh, i don't hear anything changing so i just assume nothing happened yeah dax are you you watching me no i'm not watching you zoe i'm worrying about my own army right now how about you just mind your business for once wow you get so mad you better hurry up because we're gonna drop the walls soon wait guys i have no idea what zoe's talking about she said she had a god potion or something but i didn't see anything change so i really doubt her moms are any type of strong well whatever zoe i think i'm already ready for this round can we just drop the balls already yep let's do it there is no way you're gonna win with an army this small and pathetic zoe dax i wouldn't speak too soon your mobs are already dying wait what the heck how in the world are your people so strong this doesn't even make any sense. Just because your guys are tall doesn't mean that they're very strong. And I use a god potion on mine, so mine are 10 times stronger than yours, and it looks like they died. Wait, what the heck? I can't believe that god potion actually worked. I saw no difference. How does it even make any sense? Dax, what do you mean you saw nothing? Uh, I don't know, Zoe. I don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, whatever. It doesn't even matter. That just makes us score two to one. Yep, that just means if I win one more round, that means I win. What in the world, guys? I can't believe Zoe actually beat us. Man, that was a really such a strong potion if it destroyed all of my titans like that but let's see what she's gonna try and use for the fourth run and hopefully the tv woman comes back to help me i need to get rid of all of this cake before my next match so they don't eat it and get super small okay you know what that probably is a pretty good idea that she gets rid of all the cake it is kind of annoying perfect now the cake is all gone i'm gonna spawn in the zombie toilet wait did she just spawn in the zombie toilet and ew this guy is super freaky it honestly gives me the chills perfect this guy is so spooky looking i'm gonna spawn in a big army of him uh, okay she is spawning in a bunch and i honestly have no idea what to do guys all i need is a tv woman to get back here to help me out dax i'm back wait what the heck was that the tv woman uh where in the world are you and oh my gosh tv woman you're back i told you i was back how did the round go uh actually we lost so now if zoe wins this next round we're totally gonna lose the whole entire mob battle i better start working really hard we have to win this round yeah you better start working hard what's something that we could even use well it looks like zoe spawned in the zombie toilet so let's fight fire with fire and spawn in the buzz toilet wait spawn in the bus toilet and what the heck you have a bus toilet spawning yep when i was fighting the skibbity toilets that was one of the guys i was defeating oh my gosh you actually took out the bus toilet that's so cool but now since you captured it we can actually use them for our advantage okay let's go ahead and start spawning in a bunch of them and whoa these guys are so freaky tv woman yep they were super hard to defeat, so I imagine Zoe's team is going to have some troubles. I bet they're really hard to defeat, but since you're super powerful, they probably were no challenge for you. Yeah, it was pretty easy for me, but any average guy is going to have a hard time. Okay, let me go ahead and put a lot of these guys on this side, because I want our army to be the biggest army we've had yet, because I totally want to crush Zoe. And wait a second, what the heck? The walls just dropped TV when you have to hide. Okay, I'll use this invisibility potion. Quick, hurry, hurry. Okay, and perfect. Now that the TV's on, we can start this mob battle, and what the heck how did the walls just drop zoe i don't know i wasn't even done spawning in my army and the wall dropped oh my goodness this isn't good that was just completely random but wait i think i have a lot more people than you i can totally win this no way i still spawned in a whole bunch of zombie toilets you're definitely going down we'll see about that zoe come on bus toilets we totally have to beat zoe and look it looks like you're losing now no 
way. Come on, come on. There's not that many of them left. Keep taking them out, Buzz Twister. There's a little group over here. And no, this one guy's getting jumped. Guys, come help him. This is not good. There's only four of them left. Come on, beat them all up. And yes, the rest of my army is coming. And wait, Zoe, Rita's punching some of my people? No, I would never do that. What the heck is wrong with you? And wait, your army's about to lose. So it doesn't even make a difference. Come on, guys. Take out the last few of them. And uh, I don't think you have anyone left, Zoe. Dang it. I can't believe I lost that round. Yeah, and you even tried to cheat. But you know what? I'll let it slide since I won. Okay, but this next round, I'm going to win and be the mob battle champion. We'll see about that. Zoe, the score is two to two. So whoever wins this final round will be the ultimate winner. And perfect, guys. We completely cooked Zoe in that round, which gives us one more chance to win this mob battle. And this is the final round after all. So I wonder what Zoe's going to try and pull off. Ooh, I have a bunch of Titan spawn eggs. I wonder if I should build a combining machine so I can find all of them to make one super powerful Titan. Wait, did she just say she's going to try and combine the Titans in a combining machine? How in the world does that even work? Now I just got to click slash slash paste. And wait, what in the world? Did it actually just make a combining machine? Perfect. My combining machine worked. Now I just have to spawn in the spawn eggs on each side. Oh my goodness, guys. This is absolutely ridiculous. There is no way this is going to work though, right? This is like impossible. On the first side, it is the Titan cameraman. And then on the second side, it's the Titan TV man. Okay, I still don't believe this is going to work. Let's see what happens whenever zoe tries to fix this lever and oh uh, wait a second i can't even tell what happened because it's too tall what the heck is this thing oh this guy looks super big now i just gotta get a spawn egg wait she got the spawn egg and whoa wait it actually is a combination of the tv and the camera titan this is so insane whoa this guy looks awesome i'm gonna build a giant army of them oh my goodness guys what in the world can i even do this is like one of the strongest people ever oh dax i have a great idea uh what's your idea tv woman why don't we steal zoe's combining machine. Wait, steal her combining machine? How do we do that? All you have to do is type in the same command. Uh, the same command. Let's just walk over here and type in slash slash paste and let's see. And whoa, look at this. It actually made a combining machine. But wait, TV one, what are we even going to use to combine to make? Dax, I have just the thing. Use all three of these spawn eggs to make the tri-titan. Wait, all three of these spawn eggs to make the tri-titan? Are you sure this is actually going to work, TV woman? I'm positive it's going to work. Okay, well, on one side over here, let's go ahead and spot our upgraded TV man and speaker man and then on the other side i'll use the cameraman and then we'll combine it to see what actually happens let's just go ahead and smack in the cameraman on this side and all we have to do is flick the lever and let's see what this ends up making and whoa wait a second it actually made the try tight this was such a good idea tv woman yep it is a super good idea but i don't think we're finished yet uh what do you mean by that tv woman i think that you should hop into the combining machine so we can combine you with the try titan wait do you think that'll actually work i mean we won't know unless we try okay let me go ahead and put the try tight on one of the sides over there and then i'll hop on the opposite side and then we can see if this works but i hope you know what you're doing tv but otherwise i'm gonna get zapped by the lasers fingers crossed okay now that's over there let me hop through this door whenever you're ready go ahead hit that lever tv woman all righty dax three two one. Oh man i really don't feel good i don't know if that worked tv woman dax it worked it worked wait did it actually work and whoa who is that young handsome fellow right there um i wouldn't say handsome but okay what the heck it actually made a dax titan now i can grab the spawn it spawned a huge dax army and completely destroy zoe Woohoo! you are definitely gonna win this was such a good idea tv what would i do without you probably lose yeah i probably would lose but since the time's almost up you need to go hide again thank you for all your help this mob battle you're welcome and who do you guys think's gonna win this final round you can either comment dax titan or you can comment combo titan okay zoe i think my army is basically ready to go and let me just tell you you're totally getting smacked yeah i seriously doubt that dex well let's just drop the walls and see and here we go the walls have dropped in our final round what the heck what are these mobs these are dax titans and they're totally gonna destroy all of your combo men wait you made a combining machine too that doesn't even make any sense oh yeah i did i guess great minds think alike zoe yeah i guess so come on come on and whoa i think that was your last guy and wait no you have one guy left in here everyone jump him no don't kill him and uh yeah just like that i think your whole army got taken out so wait man your army was so weak are you serious i lost just like that yeah you did lose zoe but maybe you can win the next mob battle fingers crossed today i'm doing a minecraft mob battle with my girlfriend but we can mix any skibbity mobs and what my girlfriend zoe doesn't know is i set up this one-way glass wall so i can see exactly what mob she mixes okay zoe what are you excited for today's mixing mob battle i am super excited you are so going down no way zoe you're definitely gonna lose but i'm gonna give you five minutes to mix any mobs you want best of luck good luck dax okay guys and now that we're on to the very first round of our mob battle 
I have this huge one-way glass wall. It basically now I can just look through it and see exactly what Zoe's gonna try and mix. For this first round, I'm gonna spawn in the camera woman and the TV woman and mix them together to get the camera TV woman. Wait, did she just say she's gonna combine the camera woman and the TV woman to make a combination of those two? That honestly sounds pretty cool. So I'm just spawning in each mob on each side and then I'm going to flick the lever so they mix. Oh gosh, guys, let's see what this ends up making. And oh my gosh, guys, wait a second. It actually combined the two, but this one looks really weird. Wow, this is so awesome. She has two heads. Uh, okay, that is weird. It looks like she has the TV woman head and both the camera woman head. And wait, does she have the camera one rocket launcher on the back? She looks so powerful. I can't wait to build my army using a whole bunch of her. Okay, guys, this is already looking like a little bit scary of a round. And Zoe is spawning in a bunch of them over there. Oh gosh, guys, what are we gonna do? Oh, wait a second, guys. I actually have a really good idea. So everyone knows that TNT is like an extremely strong block. So what if on one side, I go ahead and place some TNT. And then on the other side, I combine it with something really strong like a buzz toilet. Let's just go ahead and smack this guy down on this side. And whoa, the buzz toilet looks super cool. But I'm sure once I flick this lever, this TNT buzz toilet's gonna be awesome. And wait a second. Oh my goodness. I think it actually worked. Look, we have the TNT head and some of it even turned red to match the TNT. That's so awesome. And since TNT is super, super destructive, if I have a whole army of these guys, Guys, they're totally gonna destroy Zoe's TV camera woman over there. But just like Zoe did, let's go ahead and open this door right here and we can grab the spawn egg and whoa, look at that. It says TNT buzz spawn egg. So now that I have the spawn egg, I can just go ahead and spawn in a whole bunch of these guys. And my guys are a little bit small, which kind of worries me. But over here in this corner, I should have a hidden trap door. Let's see, where is it? And oh, look at that guys, perfect. We have a hidden trap door right here. And inside of this trap door, we have a super secret chest with some awesome stuff. Let's go ahead and see what we have for this first round and whoa look at this we have a size changer and basically now if i walk up to any one of my tnt bus toilets and click on them look at two times the size and everyone knows the bigger they are the stronger they're gonna be so let me go ahead and get a whole bunch of these guys to be super super big okay so well i think my army is basically ready to go for this first round of the mob battle my army is practically ready to go too well actually speaking of your army zoe before the walls drop can i take a little bit of a guess of what she might have spawned in um sure i guess but i doubt you'll get it let's see is your mob's color primarily black yes hmm okay give me a few more guesses let's see does your person happen to have like a tv and a camera combined in it Dex, how do you know this uh zoe i can hear your people on my side it's so obvious that you spotted the camera tv woman whatever you did not guess that somehow you're cheating no i'm not cheating zoe but let's just drop these walls for the first round let's do it and here we go the first round and our mob battle has officially started whoa these look like tnt buzz toilets yes they are tnt buzz toilets but man you spawn in a bunch of your tv camera woman this round actually might be a lot closer than i wanted yeah this is super crazy but are your tnt toilets gonna explode Hmm, I hope not. That'd be really bad because they would explode my side and your side. Yeah, I don't think it was a good idea to mix TNT with the buzz toilet. Come on, guys, keep fighting. We have to win this. There's no way my TNT buzz toilets get lose. Seems like it's a pretty close match. Oh no, I think a bunch of my TNT buzz toilets are starting to drop. This is not looking good. Yeah, your big guys are falling super easy. It looks like I might win this round. And, oh, wait a second. I still have this one guy trapped inside my mob combiner. He can totally take them out. Get him out of there. Oh, wait, so no, you can't break the glass. What the heck is wrong with you? Get him. And he just got taken out. What in the world, Zoe? That was cheating. No, it wasn't cheating. I didn't kill him. My mobs did. <sighs> Whatever, Zoe. Let's just move on to round two. Okay, Dax. You're going down. What in the world, guys? I can't believe we actually lost that first round. Ugh, that TV camera was actually pretty strong. But I need to win this second round. I cannot lose another one to Zoe. So let's go ahead and see what she's going to try and mix for the second round. I think I'm going to do something super crazy this round. And I'm going to mix the titan speaker man with the titan tv man wait the titan speaker man with the titan tv man what in the world is this even supposed to make huh and this guy can't even fit in the combining machine what the heck the titan speaker man is literally so huge okay i am a little bit scared of what this is gonna make and now i just have to flick the lever and see what happens and wait a second what in the world did that make the tri titan whoa this guy looks super cool now I just got to get his spawn egg. But wait a second. If this is tri titan, that's supposed to be three. Where in the world was the cameraman even at? And since I had the camera woman last round, there must have been some sort of camera parts left in the machine. And that's why it made a tri titan. Huh. Well, I guess that makes sense. But what the heck? That thing is literally so overpowered. It's literally the combination of three different titans. What in the world am I going to do? Well, I guess either way, I'm going to have to figure out something really, really good for this round. And wait a second. Is that a 
portal right there. Oh my goodness, guys. Every time we get a portal, we end up getting something super, super good. Maybe I should just go inside of there and check it out just to see. Okay, let's go ahead and hop down and what the heck wait did this put me in the nether uh that is a little bit freaky i've never seen any type of portal do something like that before but i mean i guess it brought us here for a reason maybe there's like something really really cool in here and uh wait a second did this put me in survival mode and wait why did it give me a diamond sword this is definitely a little freaky and what the heck there's so many skimmity toilets over there how am i supposed to fight off that many i don't even have armor oh uh, this really sucks and oh wait a second it gave me netherite armor too oh i can definitely take them down let's go ahead and run down there and take them all out and oh gosh wait there's like a big jump here let me run around and take this guy out over here and wait a second these guys aren't even putting up a fight uh well i guess it doesn't make a difference i'm taking them all out regardless because i don't like them there's only a few of them left and then i should be good to go oh gosh and wait a second now they're attacking me what the heck is this come on there's only two of them left i can totally do this and let me pick this last guy up and i'm gonna throw him in the lava all i have to do is carry him over to the edge like this and then i can just drop him off just like that goodbye and wait a second i think i saw a chest over here and yeah there's a little chest what's inside of here and wait okay there's a toilet spawning and there's also a spider uh that's kind of weird but maybe i could try using these two and wait it just put me back in creative mode again uh i guess i just defeated whatever type of challenge that was come on guys quick let's get back to our portal before zoe catches on let's just fly back to our portal and perfect we can just come all the way back to our side but now we do have these two spawnings and i guess i could try using them for this round okay let's go ahead and spotted a few different spiders because i want this guy to be really creepy and how about for some extra power i spawn in multiple of these skibbity toilets just to make it as strong as possible oh gosh wait this guy snuck out uh well i guess i could just take him out okay now let's go back over to our little lever and see what it makes and oh my gosh guys look at that now we have a multi-head spider toilet that guy looks so insane i'm so glad we got these spawn eggs and used them okay quick let's go ahead and go inside of here and grab the spawn egg and now i get spotted a whole bunch of them to completely destroy zoe's army and actually guys we still have a few minutes left until the walls drop so why don't i go ahead and prank zoe real quick now what i'm gonna do is be super super smart and grab some purple concrete and what i'm gonna do is also grab some different type of rails because i want to make a little roller coaster that drops stuff on her side but guys we have to be super super careful because zoe is literally right below us and if she catches us she's gonna be really mad let me just go ahead and line this up with a bit of railing and now we need to turn it in this direction so it can go in the middle of all her army and perfect now this is all this is set up let's go ahead and get a different my cart that we could throw on it and which one of these would be really cool huh oh what if we start off by using this lightning tnt okay quick let's go ahead and put it on the railing and see what it does on zoe's side let's just go ahead and push it and this is gonna be totally insane whoa what that big noise what is happening uh, wait a second guys there's still a bunch of barrier blocks on the top so it didn't even affect any of zoe's army wow i don't know where that loud noise came from but my army seems to be okay so i guess everything's fine okay guys we're gonna have to get rid of all these barriers on the top but in order to do that i'm gonna need to get to zoe's side so let me get an invisibility potion and then i could just splash it all myself and oh gosh i should probably take off my armor too and now that she can't see us i can just go ahead and select both parts of this barrier up here and get rid of all of it okay perfect and now that all the barriers are gone i can go ahead and throw my armor back on and then we can send another one of these lightning tnts over there this is gonna be so cool to see what is happening my army it's dying oh my gosh guys did you see how much lightning just went over to her side that was insane what is going on where is this explosion coming from okay guys i don't want her to get too suspicious so let's go ahead and keep this roller coaster up here but we're gonna save it for a later round i have to be super quick and spawn in some more because the wall's about to drop in like five seconds wait what did zoe just say and oh my gosh guys it looks like the walls actually dropped zoe what in the world this is insane are those multi-head spiders yeah they are but oh my gosh you spawned in so many tri titans what is wrong with you yeah i don't think you're gonna win this round these tri titans are super duper strong oh don't worry my bolt ahead spider toys are from the nether which means they're extra powerful wait how did you get to the nether uh i don't know zoe but man it looks like your tri titans are getting destroyed you only have one guy left and boom he just went down dex what is this is this a portal uh no zoe it's not a portal see there's nothing even there what are you talking about are you serious dex i just saw that you could go through it uh well i don't know what you're talking about zoe the score is now one to one let's move on to round three okay let's do this you are gonna lose it's perfect guys we completely crushed zoe in that last round our mob was just way too strong but let's go ahead and win this next round what is zoe gonna try combined i am so mad that i lost to dax i need to do something super crazy this round i am gonna spawn in the big tv man and i'm gonna combine it with the cameraman wait she spawned in the big tv man oh my gosh this guy is 
so tall. I really wonder what these guys are going to turn into. This is probably going to be really powerful. And I am super excited to see what this turns into. It, oh my gosh. Wait, I think it actually worked. It looks like he has that camera and body, but it took the big TV man's TVs. That's so cool. Wow, this guy looks super cool. He's not as big as I was hoping but I'm sure he's super duper powerful. Yeah, he isn't as big as the other guys, so it's really not that big of a deal. What's super weird is that I found this size changer on the ground, so maybe I'll be able to make him big. Wait, what size changer? I had one of those, and wait, where is my size changer at? What the heck? Whoa, this guy is huge. Now I just need to spawn in some more, so I have a big army. Oh my goodness, guys. How in the world did I even drop that? I don't even remember dropping it anywhere. But uh, okay, we have to figure out something because Zoe's people are really, really big over there. Okay, wait, we were just in the nether last round. So that gives me somewhat of an idea. What if I go ahead and put a blaze on one side over here? And then on the other side, I can get a really powerful skibbity mob like the G-Man. Okay, let's just go ahead and set the G-Man in here. And man, this is gonna be one awesome combination. And wait a second, what in the world did that just make? Is this a, what the heck? This guy is horrifying. This is a blaze in a G-Man, but it's all corrupted. Oh gosh, our combining machine must be getting really, really messed up. We did throw a lot of lightning last round, so maybe it zapped it. But look how fast the blaze runs are flying around and the blaze's head is all messed up. Oh man, this is really, really creepy but i mean i guess we can go ahead and grab the spot and spot a whole bunch of them just so we can kind of counter zoe's army you know what i just realized she took our size changer so what if i go ahead and take it back so if i go ahead and type in this command right here i can see inside of zoe's inventory and perfect look there's the size changer let's go ahead and take this and now i can use it on all of my blaze g-men what the heck where did my size changer go i was about to make my mobs bigger oh wait a second guys she just realized that it's missing oh no this isn't good dax oh gosh guys this isn't good hey zoe what's up um i had a size changer in my inventory and it just randomly disappeared you wouldn't know anything about that would you you had a size changer in your inventory and it disappeared zoe the strangest thing actually happened to me a few rounds ago really what did you lose i lost a size changer too this is insane maybe it's a glitch in the system yeah maybe it's a glitch or something zoe but i need to go ahead and work on my army a bit more uh just leave me alone all right okay good luck dex oh man guys that was way too close but i think zoe actually fell for it so i think we're in the clear but man i still I feel like my blazes aren't strong enough. Let's go ahead and head back to our chest over here and maybe I'll have something better inside. Okay, let's just open this up and what the heck is this thing? It says a mob enchantment book. Uh, this is really weird. What does this do? What if I just click on this guy and whoa, wait, he started glowing. Oh my gosh. I bet if I click on a bunch of my guys, my army will end up being super, super powerful. This is gonna be such a crazy round. And actually speaking of this round being crazy, who do you think is gonna win? You can either comment team Dax or you can comment team Zoe. Okay. So well, I think my army is ready to go for this third round. You're about to lose. No way, Dax. You are so going down. Well, I'm dropping the walls. Let's see what ends up happening. And oh my gosh, here we go. The round has started. Wow, this is super crazy. But Dax, how are some of your guys big? I thought you said you lost your size changer. Oh, uh, no, I didn't use a size changer. I just fed them some cake because cake makes everything grow. Really? I've never heard of that in my entire life. Yeah, I promise you, Zoe. It makes your mob super, super big. You should give it a try next round. Okay, I'll try it next round. But man, this is looking super close. I don't know who's going to win. My blazes are really strong, but you spotted a bunch of these camera TV men. Yeah, and my camera TV men are super huge. Yeah, they are pretty huge. This is not good. Oh, wait, and I think I'm starting to see a couple of my blazes dropping. Oh, no, guys, keep fighting. Yes, it's looking like a victory for me. No, no, come on, guys. And oh, I think that might have been the last couple of my guys. What the heck? So wait, I can't believe you actually pulled this round off. Sorry, Dex. Looks like you lost that round. And just one more win, and I'll be the mob battle champion. Don't worry, Zoe. You're definitely not going to win. Let's just move on to round number four. Guys, what in the world? Zoe's army was way too powerful. I thought the G-Man could really come in clutch, but you know what? It's whatever. I'm totally going to win this next round. Let's see what Zoe's going to try and mix. Woohoo! I am so happy that I won. Now I just need one more win, and then I'll finally be the mob battle champion. So this round, I'm going to spawn in the Titan TV Man. Wait, she spawned in the Titan TV Man? What in the world is she going to try and combine with this guy? And I'm going to combine the Titan TV Man with the Titan cameraman. Wait, what in the world is she trying to make? This is gonna be crazy. Here goes nothing. And wait, what in the world? This literally just looks like the TV man. And wait, it has the cameraman hammer. Wait, did she make a combo man? Woohoo, I made a combo man. This is awesome. I'm definitely gonna win this round. Oh my gosh, guys, this is absolutely ridiculous. That's two different Titans combined. And we know how with the last time she used three different Titans. And man, she is spawning in a whole bunch of them. How about before I go ahead and spawn in something, I mess with her 
army a bit. I'm going to be using two different carts. And the first one I'm going to try and use is this my cart with arrow. So let's go ahead and fix this. And then I'll push the arrow TNT. And let's see how much damage this ends up doing. Whoa, what the heck? Where did these arrows come from? Oh my gosh, guys, this is so funny. Come on, let's go ahead and push another one over there. Oh my gosh, how does this stuff keep falling from the sky? I don't even see anything. Oh man, that was way too funny, but it didn't do enough damage. So what if I go ahead and push one of these lightning TNTs over there? This is going to be hilarious. What the heck? Lightning? This is not cool. Oh, my mobs are dying. Oh my God, this is so funny. Okay, you know what? I think that's enough damage for now. Let's go ahead and get our own mob to combine with. And actually, I just realized I actually did break that portal earlier. So it's probably best that I just get rid of this entire thing, right? And wait, what in the world? Did it open back up? Well, last time it was the nether. Do I really need anything from the nether again? And wait, what the heck? There's more than the nether down there. I mean, I guess we could go inside and figure out what it is. Oh gosh, this is going to be so scary. And oh, wait a second. Did this put me in survival mode? Oh my gosh, I hate this so much. And wait, what the heck? Is that me over there? Uh, that is a little bit weird. I guess we can go over there and see what the world is going on. Oh gosh, okay. Come on, let's do this parkour real quick. And these jumps are pretty easy since I am a professional after all. Okay, it looks like there's only a couple jumps left. And perfect, I made it over. But why in the world am I here? Ow, don't punch me. Well, obviously I'm Dax. Wait, what? No, I'm Dax. What are you even talking about? No, I'm the real Dax. You know what? Whatever. Why in the world is there a big glass wall here? Why is there a chest inside? Well, obviously I'm here to protect something good. It's right there. You can see it. Hey, man, don't get an attitude with me. But I mean, since we're both Daxes, can I just go inside the door, please? Uh, no, you have to do something special in order to get inside. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, what do I have to do, Dax? In order to get inside, everyone that's watching right now needs to subscribe. Wait, what? Everyone that's watching needs to subscribe right now, guys. Come on, three two, one. Thanks. And now that everyone's subscribed, I can go inside the door, right, Mr. Dax? Uh, yeah, you can go inside, I guess. Let's see what's inside of this chest. And wait, it says a Dax spawning. Why in the world is there a Dax spawning inside? Well, obviously, so you can spawn another Dax. Well, what in the world is the point of that? Well, I guess you're gonna have to go back and figure it out for yourself. Oh my gosh, you're absolutely useless, but okay, whatever. I guess I can go ahead and head back. These jumps are pretty easy after all, so I should have no problem getting back. And wait, as soon as I got back here, it put me back in creative mode. Okay, come Come on, guys, let's fly back to the top. Okay, well, we did get a Dax spawning. I'm really curious to see what this does. Let's go ahead and put a Dax on this side. What in the world? It actually just spawned in a Dax. Okay, that is super, super freaky. But you know what? Earlier, we had that multi-head spider. Let me see if I still have this spawning. And oh, yeah, perfect. I still have it. What if I put it on this side so we can maybe get like a Dax spider? That would be super cool. Let's see what this ends up making. And wait a second. Did we actually just get a Dax spider? Oh my gosh, this guy looks so absolutely cool. It looks looks just like me. Okay, I'm so glad we got that Dax spawn egg, but now we need to grab his spawn egg. And using the spawn egg, I should be able to just spawn a whole bunch of them and completely swap Zoe. And since it's me, there's absolutely no way we can lose. But who do you guys think is going to win this round? You can either comment Team Dax or you can comment Team Combo. Okay, Zoe, well, I think my army is ready for this round. And let me just tell you, you're going to get smacked. Yeah, I seriously doubt that, Dax. My mobs this round are super OP. But we'll see about that. I'm dropping down the walls. And here we go. The walls have officially dropped. Whoa, this is crazy. Are those Dax spiders? Yes, they are. Dax spiders. And they're super, super strong. And wait, why are they fighting each other? What's going on? Yeah, they seem a little confused. This is super strange, but why are my mobs dropping so easily? I mean, they are me after all, so they're super strong, even if they are confused. What the heck? Come on, guys. There isn't that many of them left. You know what? Let me just go ahead and open this, this door. And it's, oh, it's already open. Go ahead. Get inside, Dax spiders. No, my last guy dropped. And man, you just got completely crushed. I had way too many Dax spiders for you. You just got overwhelmed, Zoe. Yeah, it was pretty overwhelmed. But Dax, what is this up here? Uh, what are you talking about? This roller coaster. Yeah, this looks like some type of roller coaster, Zoe. Yeah, and it looks like it drops stuff off right where all the lightning and arrows were coming from. Well, Zoe, this is quite literally made out of purple. I would never touch purple. And it looks like it's coming over to my side from your side. Maybe you set this up. I did no such thing. I think you just played a prank and used purple so I wouldn't suspect you. No way, Zoe. You must be cheating. I have an eye on you. Let's move on to the final round. Fine, whatever, Dax. Oh my gosh, guys. That was way too close, but I think since we used purple, we actually convinced Zoe that it wasn't us. But this is the final round of our mob battle, and we totally have to take the victory. So let's see, what is Zoe even going to try and combine in this round? I think for this last round, I don't even need to combine 
anything. I'm just going to spawn in all of my old mobs using all my old spawn eggs. Wait, she's going to spawn in all of her old mobs? That's actually not a bad idea. Man, she's actually really smart. And with this army, there's no way Dax can beat me. She's going to spawn in all her old mob eggs? Why don't I just do the exact same thing? Let me see what I have in my inventory. And perfect, there's the blaze and there's the TNT buzz. And now I can spawn a whole bunch of these guys in and completely crush her in this final round. I don't even know if I should keep these blaze guys though. They were pretty weak, but I think overall my army is going to get carried by the Dax spiders. They were insanely strong. And actually, I should probably go ahead and use this size change device to make them even bigger. And whoa, they look way more intimidating when they're that big. Okay, I'll just do a few more like this. This, and then I'll go out for these guys. And I'll do a few of these multi-head spiders. And wow, we're going to be so overpowered. Okay, Zoe, well, I think I'm ready to go for this final round. And you're about to get crushed. And I'm going to be the mob battle champion. Yeah, I won't be the one getting crushed. You'll just have to drop the wall and see. And here we go. The mob battle has officially started. Whoa, this is madness. And people are already dropping. How insane. Yeah, this is crazy. And man, it looks like you spotted all of your old mobs. Yeah, it looks like you did the exact same thing. I guess great minds think alike. True, but you know, my Dax spiders are way too strong. I think all my other guys might have got taken out, but my Dax spiders could still completely destroy your army. That's because they're from the nether. Uh, they're from the nether. What are you even talking about, Zoe? You said that earlier. Uh, no, I didn't say anything like that. You got the wrong idea okay dax whatever you say man your tri types are putting up a really good fight but i think they're getting overwhelmed now come on guys take them out man the dax spiders are cooking these guys come on there's only a few left and let me just break this glass open so you guys can get them dax that's cheating uh zoe does it really make a difference your guys just got completely smacked around yeah with your help well either way it doesn't matter because they lost this makes me the mob battle champion whatever dax today i'm doing a minecraft mob battle with my girlfriend but anything Thing we paint comes to life well anyways Zoe, are you excited for today's skibbity painting battle and wait why are you like 50 feet tall right now i don't know dax maybe i just grew why are you so short uh i don't really know either but you're gonna have five minutes to make your drawing zoe best of luck good luck dax okay guys and now we're moving on to the very first round of our mob battle which means i need to go ahead and see what zoe's gonna try and do it's secretly before the round started i set up a little hidden trap door right about here and basically now all i need to do is just jump into it and then i should have one way glass I can see exactly what Zoe's gonna try and draw. For this round, I think that I'm gonna draw the UFO toilet. Wait, did Zoe just say she's gonna try and draw the UFO toilet for the first round? That's a super strong character. I kind of want to see how it turns out. Right now, I'm just making the body of the UFO toilet. I've already done the top, and now I'm doing the part that floats. Whoa, this actually looks super cool. I can't wait to see how the final thing looks. Perfect. My painting looks great. Now I just need to hit the lever so the UFO toilet comes to life. And whoa, guys, look at that. The UFO toilet looks super cool. Whoa, this guy looks just like my drawing. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely ridiculous. And he looks so strong. And I was able to get a spawn egg. So now I can build an entire army of these UFO toilets. Okay, guys, while Zoe's making a little army over there, let's head back to our side. And then we can go ahead and draw our first character. And I think for this round, I do something really, really strong. So why don't I start off by drawing the Titan Speaker Man? So the first thing I need to do is draw like a big red shirt right about here. Next, we'll go ahead and draw in some pant legs like this. And I guess we can also throw in those black shoes that he wears next we can draw out a few different arms for both sides and i kind of want to draw that rocket launcher each one of the sides so after this i'll go ahead and get some gray and just draw the upgraded version now that we're done with that i guess we could start drawing in the head and it's basically just a little shape like this it's nothing too complicated behind this we can add in a few of those different speakers that he has and then we have to draw in some of those red speakers on the actual face and the last thing we'll do is add in that black chest piece with a little bit of red in the middle and perfect i honestly think this looks pretty good let's go ahead and flick our lever to see how it comes out and oh my my goodness, guys, look at this. We actually got the upgraded Titan speaker, man. This guy looks so cool. He's like super, super ginormous. And he has both of those rocket launchers, which means he has to be insanely powerful. But now that I actually have him spawned in, I should probably go ahead and grab his spawning so I can build an army of these guys. Let's go ahead and start placing a bunch of them down just like this. And this is going to be the perfect first round ever. And you know what? I want to do one more thing to make my army even stronger. If I go into my inventory and type in mob, I can get something called the mob enchantment mode. Now, if I just walk up to any one of these characters over here, here and click on them they'll instantly start glowing which means they got a whole lot stronger so let's just walk around and click on a few people in our army to make them as strong as possible and perfect now i think my army is basically looking 
pretty good to go. Let's see if Zoe's ready for this first round in the mob battle. Okay, Zoe, my army is completely done and ready to go. Are you excited to lose this first round in our mob battle? Dax, I'm going to win this round. You don't even know what mobs I have. They're super OP. Well, we'll see about that. I'm about to drop the walls. And here we go. It looks like the round has officially started, Zoe. Whoa, are those the Titan Speaker Man? Yes, it is. And whoa, it looks like you spotted the UFO toilet. These guys kind of look pretty cool. Yeah, and they're super strong. So your Titan Speaker Man should be going down pretty soon. No way. You should know that the Titan Speaker Man is like one of the strongest characters. There's no way that these stupid UFO toilets could take them out. Just wait and see, Dax. Come on, Titan Speaker Man. We cannot lose the first round of Zoe. Beat them all up. And oh no, I'm seeing a bunch of people dropping. I have no idea who's going to win this. Oh no. But wait, some of your speaker men are falling too. Wait, no, I'm losing a bunch of my speaker men. What is happening? There's no way we're losing to the toilet. Come on, this is my last one. And no, he just got taken out too. Yippee. Round one goes to Zoe. Uh, whatever, Zoe. You're definitely gonna lose round two. Let's just move on. Oh my goodness, guys. I can't believe Zoe actually beat us in that first round. Man, her UFO toilets were actually pretty strong. But I really need to focus up for this next round and see what I'm actually gonna do. So what if I go ahead and go back through my trap door to see what Zoe's planning? Okay, my trap door should be right there and perfect. And wait a second, what in the world? is that? It looks like there's a bunch of obsidian over there, which is a little bit weird. I don't remember replacing that here. I guess we can go ahead and just break all this because it is a piece of garbage and whoa wait this looks like some type of portal let's go ahead and look below our base and yep it's a portal look nothing's even below it let's just go ahead and jump in here and see what's down there and whoa wait a second it looks like it put me in survival which is a little bit weird and there's some ladders here i can climb down and whoa wait there's a bunch of lava and wait is that the golem speaker man over there what in the world it also looks like there's a door and wait there's a chest behind there what the heck is he defending well i guess in order to get over there i'm gonna have to do this parkour but luckily i'm a parkour pro and whoa i it over super fast that was way too easy you green guy what are you doing down here uh well i just found a portal on my side in the mob battle and i decided to come down here and i see you're defending a little bit of a chest can i go in there and get it no you're not allowed to go inside wait what i'm not allowed to go inside well how can i even get in there the only way you can come inside if everyone watches subscribes in the next five seconds oh my gosh guys what you heard him you have to subscribe in five seconds three two one thanks okay mr golem now that everyone's subscribed can i go in the door oh uh, yeah i already opened it up for you wait you already opened it up for me and oh my gosh look at that thank you so much mr speaker golem let's go ahead and see what's inside of this chest and whoa wait what are these two things this one thing over here looks like a one-way glass maker and whoa i should be able to use this in order to actually make a one-way glass wall so i can see through on zoe's side okay and there was one more thing in there what in the world is this and it says a speaker golem titan wait if i remember correctly this should be the spawning for that guy right there hey uh mister is this your spawning that was actually inside of the chest yes it is and now you can use it in order to win the mob battle oh my goodness that is so clutch i don't even have to draw anything for this round thank you so much mr speaker golem of course best of luck okay now in order to get back i have to do a bit more hardcore but this is pretty easy so i should be okay and now that i made it back it put me back in creative mode so i can just fly all the way back to the top and i guess the first thing i should probably do before i actually spotted the titan golem is just make all this wall in into one-way glass and all i have to do for that is just walk up to this and click on it and oh my goodness guys this whole wall has turned into one-way glass and i can see everything on zoe's side and what the heck is this like a tata toilet this guy looks so scary wow my army looks so good there's no way that dax can beat me oh my goodness guys this is absolutely ridiculous and those guys look super super strong okay i'm definitely gonna have to spot in a bunch of these speaker golems in order to win so so let me go ahead and spot in the first one and whoa this guy is so much bigger than the one down there let me go ahead and spot in a bunch of them just to make sure i can totally win this round and actually who do you guys think's gonna win this round you can either call a team golem or team katana of course like the first round let me go ahead and walk around and go ahead and enchant a bunch of these guys because i want them to be as strong as possible and there's no way i can lose another round to zoe let's keep clicking on them with this mob enchantment book and then i should be good to go for this next round okay zoe what army is basically ready to go are you ready for this second round in the mob battle i am so ready you are so going down well we'll see about that i'm about to drop down the walls and here we go zoe it looks like the round has officially started what the heck what type of mobs are these this is the titan speaker golem and he's insanely strong and definitely gonna destroy all of your little katana toilets and some of them are glowing that's crazy yeah i made sure to make them as strong as possible because there's no way you stand a chance at this round you're gonna completely smacked around yikes it looks like they're taking down my knife toilet super easy yeah this is way too easy of a round which is gonna make the score one to one for me what the heck come on guys there isn't that many of them left keep taking out the rest of them dax it looks like you didn't even draw anything oh uh i actually did draw something i decided to clear it out before the round started so i'd be good to go for next round okay i guess you're kind of setting yourself up for success exactly but come on there's only a few of them left and we can totally win this okay i think these are your last two over here this guy is 
is getting jumped and perfect. It looks like I actually won the round. Well, you definitely deserve it. Your Golem Titans are super strong. Yeah, but let's just go ahead and move on to the next round. And the score is one to one, so I don't forget it. Okay, okay. Okay, guys. And now that I won that round, the score is one to one. So I want to keep up with the winning streak and beat Zoe in this next round. And wait, I already think she's drawing. I wonder what she's trying to do right now. For this round, I'm going to draw one of my favorite skibbity characters, the TV woman. Wait, did she say she's drawing the TV woman? Whoa, that actually sounds kind of cool. Whoa, my TV woman is complete and she looks amazing. Now I just have to hit the lever so she can appear. And Oh, wait a second. Where in the world did the TV would go? And whoa, wait, look, this is actually her. This looks so good. And I got her spawn egg so I can build my army of powerful TV women. Oh my goodness. Zoe is spawning in so many TV women. And whoa, they're actually really fast. Okay, I need to think of something that I could do for this round. What would be a perfect counter? And wait, I actually have a really good idea. What if we make a skimmy toilet except we use multiple heads on it? Okay, let's start making the frame of our toilet right about here. And then we have to draw out a few long lengthy legs. And then we'll add one leg over over here, which is going to be our back leg. But now we need to start adding in all the heads. And I think I'm going to add in five heads. That'd be pretty good. Let's start shaping all of these out. Something like this. And perfect. I think this is looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and flick our lever to see what this does. And oh my goodness. Wait, I think it actually work. Look, this is a multi-head toilet. This thing looks so cool. Okay, I need to grab this guy's spawning and I can spawn in a whole bunch of them. This is going to be one of the craziest rounds ever. And actually, I should probably go look at my portal again to see if anything else cool is in there. Okay, let's just go ahead and look and wait a second why is my portal broke over here and what the heck my portal closed what happened to it i wonder if dax noticed that i messed up his portal wait did zoe just say she messed up my portal what in the world that's so messed up uh, okay whatever it doesn't even make a difference because i have these super strong characters but you know what i should probably make them even better and i actually have this one device called the personal shrinking device basically i can change anything to be any size i want with this so if i go ahead and do the size 1.5 it'll make my guys 1.5 the size they were and whoa this guy already got so much bigger Okay, let's go ahead and head around and click on a bunch of these guys because I want my army to be extremely strong for this round. And perfect. I think my army is looking pretty good. And wait a second. What the heck is Zoe doing over there? Is that a couch car? Whee! I'm having so much fun on my couch car. Oh my gosh, guys. She is having way too much fun. This is a mob battle that shouldn't be fun at all. But you know what? We still do have a few minutes until the wall is supposed to drop. So why don't I prank her real quick? And using this one mod, I can actually transform into any one of Zoe's characters. And whoa, wait, I think I'm turning into the TV woman. And whoa, look at that. I'm the TV woman now. And since I look like the TV woman, I can just walk over to Zoe's side and she'll have no idea it's us. So let me just go ahead and break through this wall. And of course, I have to put it back and perfect. I made it over to Zoe. Zoe's side and wow I blended all with her army this is perfect I can't wait till the walls drop there's only a few more minutes till I destroy Dax okay guys she seems a little bit too confident but we are totally not gonna let her destroy us I think the first thing we should do is use our mob killer and walk around and just click on a bunch of her characters to make her army as weak as possible let's go ahead and take out a few of them in the middle just like this and this is gonna be so funny when he realizes her army is tidy now what the heck did I just see some of my mobs fall wait a second guys did she just see that oh my gosh she was right behind us I'm keeping an eye on you guys. What in the world? Okay, she is getting a little bit suspicious, which is not good for us. Okay, I need to be a little more secretive. Let me just walk to the other side of this arena over here, and I'll start taking out all the people over here while Zoe's on that side. This is gonna be so funny, and she's gonna be so angry. Uh, oh gosh, guys, she was right behind me again. Hey, I saw you kill some of my mobs. What the heck is wrong with you? Oh gosh, guys, wait, I gotta change my voice. Uh, What are you talking about, Zoe? I literally didn't do anything. <laughs> I literally saw you, and... Why do you sound so much like Dax? Wait, I don't sound anything like Dax. Uh, I'm actually Dax's sister. You didn't know that? Dax's sister is not the TV woman. Yeah, he actually is. He actually is? Uh, yeah, totally. And uh, I'm just gonna run away into everyone. And then you want to know who I am? <laughs> hey, come back, you little weirdo. And oh my gosh, guys, that was way too close. But don't worry, I think I made it away safely. I know that that was Dax. I better keep an eye out because I know he's gonna pull something big. Oh my gosh, she is so close to us, guys. Okay, I gotta be a little bit more careful. How about instead of taking our characters, I throw a few different dynamite sticks. Let me see. What do I have inside of my inventory? And whoa, what if I throw this one called the arrow dynamite? That sounds perfect. Let me just go ahead and toss a few of these in the air. And oh gosh, wait, that did not work at all. There's arrows everywhere now. What the heck? Where did these arrows come from? Dax? Oh, uh, hey, Zoe, what's up? You mean you don't know? Uh, no, I don't know. What's going on, Zoe? Some arrows were just shot at my mobs. 
And I swear that one of the TV women sounded like you. Wait, one of the TV women sounded like me and some arrows got shot on your side. Zoe, I just got all my army taken out with arrows. I don't know what I'm going to do now. Wait, all of your army was taken out by arrows? Yeah, it's super weird. I don't even know where they came from. It's like they came from the sky. Okay, well, I'm sorry that that happened. I wish you the best. Oh, man, guys, I think Zoe actually believes us, which is super funny. Okay, I think we're doing a little bit too much. Let's go ahead and head back to our side before she gets way too suspicious. Okay, now that I'm back to my side, let me go ahead and morph back into my normal self. And this is perfect. But guys, what Zoe probably didn't realize is while I was over there, I actually took her little painting. So now I can put her mobs on my side. Let me just go ahead and put down another easel right here with this canvas on top. And then all I have to do is reflick my lever. And oh my goodness, guys, look, we got the TV, which is going to be so funny when Zoe realized we have the exact same thing as her. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the TV woman spawning. And then I can spawn a whole bunch of them on our battlefield. Okay, Zoe, my army is ready to go for this third round in the mob battle. Are you excited to lose? I'm excited to win, Dax. Why do you always think I'm going to lose? Well, I'm pretty sure you're going to lose. Just wait till the walls drop. And here we go. It looks like the round has officially started. Whoa, is this a multi-head spider toilet? Yeah, it is the multi-head spider toilet. And it looks like you did the TV woman. Yep, I sure did. But wait, why do you have TV woman on your side? Uh, I don't know, Zoe, because they wanted to come help me. That's why. Hey, Dax, do you have a sister? Uh, yeah, I do have a sister. She's actually one of the TV women. Oh, really? This is the first time I've ever heard of her. Yeah, she's kind of like an abandoned sister. We don't really talk to her much. But wait, I think you're whole army just got to take it out, Zoe. No way! Well, I guess that gives me another round win, which makes the score two to one. Wait a sec. This looks like my painting. How'd you even get that? Uh, what are you talking about, Zoe? I only have one painting over here. See? There's nothing even there. No, you just destroyed it. I'm keeping my eye on you, Dax. <laughs> okay, Zoe. Well, everyone, one more round. The whole bob bottle is over, so best of luck. And perfect, guys. We completely destroyed Zoe. I think it's super helpful that we got those TV women. But now I need to win one more round in order to win the whole bob battle. So let's see. What is Zoe going to try and draw for this next round. For this next round, I'm going to draw the Herobrine toilet. Wait, did she just say the Herobrine toilet? What in the world is that? I'm thinking that if I add a Herobrine head on its skibbity toilet, then I should get the Herobrine toilet. Wait, guys, there's no way something this dumb is actually going to work, right? And whoa, wait, this actually does look like Herobrine. This thing is totally creepy. Now I just need to flick the lever so the Herobrine toilet comes to life. And whoa, wait a second, a Herobrine toilet actually spawned in? This thing is so creepy. Wow, my drawing was pretty spot on. On. This is exactly what I imagined. Okay, guys, this is not good. Since Herobrine is extremely strong, I have no idea what I can even do to counter this thing. Let's see. What would be the perfect counter to this? I honestly have no idea. And wait a second. What if I draw the big TV man? That would be perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and start by drawing out the body of the big TV man just like this. Next, I need to go ahead and draw a really big head like this. And then we have to draw in all those side TVs. And I'm pretty sure he has like four of them. So let's draw four of them out. This is looking pretty good. And then the last thing we need to do is add in a few legs just like this. Okay, now that our whole drawing is done, we should go ahead and hit the lever and see what it actually makes. This is gonna be so cool. And whoa, wait, did it actually work? And oh my goodness, look at the big TV man. He's huge. Since this thing is like way bigger than all those hair bright toilets, there's no way that he could actually lose. Let me go ahead and get his spawn egg so I can build a whole army of these guys. Okay, let's put down a few more of these. You know what would actually be a really good idea? If I made them all super small. Since they're already super strong it really doesn't matter if they get a little bit weaker i just want to make them as fast as possible and wow just like that they got a lot smaller which is kind of cool because they really are still a lot bigger than those hair bride toilets over there but who do you guys think is going to win this round you can either comment team big or you can comment team hair of ryan but i definitely think my big tv men got this in the bag and i'm gonna be the mob battle champion and okay zoe i think my army is ready to go for this next round and let me just tell you my people are going to destroy your hair of ryan toilets wait how do you know i have hair of ryan toilets uh nothing zoe let's just drop the wall and here we go, Zoe. It looks like the round has started. No, Dax. How did you know what my mobs were before the wall dropped? Uh, because I could just uh tell because Herobrine has a really creepy presence and I felt super scared. So I just figured it was Herobrine. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, Dax. I know you're lying and I'm keeping my eye on you. What the heck, Zoe? You literally don't know anything. All I know is that my people are going to destroy your Herobrine toilets in this round. I don't know. It looks like your mobs are taking a lot of damage. Oh, no, this is not looking good. I'm seeing a bunch of my TV men going down. Haha, uh -huh, looks like you're going to lose this round. No, come on, guys. Keep fighting. We can't lose to Zoe, and I have one left, and oh, gosh, my last guy just got taken out. What the heck? Your hair bright toilets are too OP. That's not fair. Looks like you're a loser, and that means it's a tiebreaker round. Oh, fine, Zoe. Let's just move on to the last 
last round and you're totally gonna lose it what the heck guys i can't believe my big tv man actually lost to zoe that last round Ugh. those hair bride hoods are just way too strong but okay i need to focus up this is the final round and i totally can't lose so let's see what zoe's gonna try and pull off this round i think i'm gonna draw the scientist toilet wait did she just say she's gonna draw the scientist toilet oh no that guy is super overpowered and whoa wait this actually looks super good what the heck zoe's so talented wow my painting skills are definitely getting a lot better. Now I just need to flick the button. And whoa, the scientist toilet looks so cool. This is actually pretty awesome. Wow, this scientist looks super deadly. Hey, come back here. I need to get your spawn egg. Okay, Zoe is spawning in a bunch of them like normal, but I actually think I have a really, really good idea for this round. We're gonna be drawing the Tritight, who is like one of the coolest skibbity characters ever. So for this, let's go ahead and start building out some of the legs and the body, and then we'll come back and color it all in. We'll also draw in some of the arms arms over here and the tri-titan also has some really cool wings like this now the head of the tri-titan is basically purple i think it's a combination of the camera so let's go ahead and add that little purple bit in and we'll draw some black lines around it now we'll draw in that tv screen in the middle like this and then we have to add in a bunch of purple highlights so let's go ahead and start drawing some of those in like this we'll also do some of them on the arms and the arms also have speakers so let's go ahead and draw a couple of those in and honestly i think the tri-titan looks pretty good let's go ahead and hit the lever and see what it does and oh my god Goodness, this tritite looks absolutely insane. There is no way the scientist toilet can compete with this guy. Let's go ahead and grab his spawn egg, and then I can spawn a whole bunch of them, and they're gonna completely destroy Zoe's army in this last round. And man, this is definitely gonna be one insane final round. Who do you think is gonna win? You can either comment Team Dax, or you can comment Team Zoe. Okay, Zoe, I'm ready to go for this final round. Are you ready to lose once and for all? Dax, I'm gonna be the mob battle champion, so how about start talking to me with some respect? We'll see about that. I'm dropping the walls down. And here we go. It looks like the final round has started. Whoa, you spawned in so many mobs. Yep, I did the tri titan He's like one of the strongest characters ever. And man, it looks like your scientist toys are getting completely wiped. No, they're going down so quick. And wow, all you guys already lost. That was kind of pathetic, Zoe. Dang it, Dax. This sucks. Well, that would make me the mob battle champion since I won three rounds. So nice try, Zoe. Don't worry, Dax. I'm going to win next time. Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my girlfriend. But I'm using Skibbit mobs okay zoe are you excited for today's skibbity mob battle and wait why are you so huge right now i am super stoked and i don't really know how i'm so big but you are so going down dex okay zoe we'll see about that you're gonna have five minutes to spawn in your mobs best of luck good luck dex okay guys and now i can just walk over to my side and spawn at my very first mob for this round and i think for this very first round in the mob battle i'm gonna use two different mobs i'm gonna be using the tank and whoa look how cool this guy looks he has like a super big cannon on the front and he's controlled by a cameraman. This looks totally cool. But obviously, this isn't going to be the only thing we're going to use for this first round. I'm going with the cameraman on the tank. I'm going to be spawning in a normal cameraman. And whoa, look how cool this guy looks. He's really, really tall. And he has these really cool plungers on the back that are way bigger than him, which is a little bit weird to see. And actually, I should probably do one more thing. If I go into my creative inventory and type in shrink, I can pull this thing called the personal shrinking device. And if I go ahead and go inside the personal shrinking device, I can make anything as big as I want to. And I think for this first round, on how about we make everything two times its normal size so now if i just walk up to my cameraman here and click on him he'll become two times the size and whoa he is so big okay let me go ahead and do the same thing for the tank and whoa our tank is super huge now too and now everyone knows since they're super huge it means all their stats got super powerful so they're gonna be totally op and wait a second guys i actually have something super secret up my sleeve if i walk over here to the edge of the little arena i should have a hidden trap door somewhere and oh my gosh look there it goes and once i go inside of this trap door there should be something called a camera monitor and perfect basically what i did is put a bunch of cameras on zoe's side so i can spy and see what mob she's gonna spawn in let's go ahead and use this and see all i gotta do is click on one and oh my gosh guys look at zoe right there i wonder what she's gonna try and do for this first round for this first round i think i'm gonna spawn in the parasite toilet and the buzz toilet Wait, she's putting the parasite toilet and the bus toilet? Oh my gosh, these guys look super, super strong. And they look pretty scary as well. This is a super deadly combo. So I'm going to spawn in a whole bunch of them. Okay, guys, at least we can see exactly what she's spawning in. So this is a little bit perfect for us. Let's go ahead and head back to our site. And how about I beef up my characters a little bit more by spawning in a whole bunch of them? We all know the bigger army you have, the stronger you're going to be. So if I spawn in a bunch, there's no way that Zoe's army can take out any of my guys. And I probably should use the personal shrinking device on a bunch 
so they make them super, super big. Because obviously we want them to be as powerful as possible. Okay, let me just click on a few more like this and then we should be good to go for this first round. And this is about to be the craziest round in mob battle history. Who do you guys think is going to win? You can comment Team Dax or you can comment Team Zoe. Okay, Zoe, well, my army is ready to go for this first round. Are you excited to lose the first one? I'm excited to win, Dax. I don't know why you think I'm going to lose so easily. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure you're going to lose. Just wait until you see what my army looks like. And here we go. It looks like the first round has begun, Zoe. Whoa, your mobs are huge. Yeah, my guys are super huge. I've been feeding them a lot of cake, and we all know cake makes your army super big. Seriously? Cake? As in, like, the dessert? Yeah, like the dessert, Zoe. You should go ahead and try it in the next round. Okay, maybe I just will. And man, you spawned in a whole bunch of parasite toilets, and it looks like you also spawned in bus toilets. Man, you spawned in way too many. This round could really go to anyone. Yep, it looks like your mobs are big, but I spawned in more, so I don't know who really is gonna win. I still think my guys can pull it off. I mean, they are super huge after all, and oh no, I'm seeing a bunch of them start dropping. Guys, what's going on? Yikes, Dax. Looks like you're not gonna win after all. Oh no, guys. Keep fighting. Come on, we can't lose this away. Please, I have one cameraman left in. Oh gosh, it looks like he just got taken out. Sorry, Dax. First round win goes to Team Zoe. <sighs> Whatever, Zoe. You just got lucky. Just wait till the next round. I'm gonna completely crush you. Whatever you say, Dax. Good luck. Guys, what in the world? Zoe's army was way too powerful for that first round. I honestly didn't expect that. But don't worry. I can just go ahead and use my camera monitors and I can get something good for this second round. So let's go ahead and figure out what we're gonna do and... Wait a minute. It says this camera no longer exists. What in the world happened? Uh, what the heck? Why are there cameras on the ground? I don't remember putting those there. Oh, wait a second, guys. Since we broke the wall and put it back, that must mean that cameras must have fallen off. Oh, gosh, this isn't good at all. What am I going to do? Okay, don't panic. I can definitely think of something. Come on, guys. Come on, think. I mean, maybe I can spot it like one of the Titan characters or something. And wait, what the heck is that? Is that Skibbity Dop over there? And is this some kind of portal? And what the heck? Wait, there's absolutely nothing behind this. This is so trippy. Oh, wait, why in the world is there purple inside of this? That is a little bit weird. And I hate that color. Hopefully, Zoe had nothing to do with this. But I mean, I do like Skibbity Dop. So I guess we can go ahead and go inside and see what's up. Uh, hey, Skibbity Dop, what in the world are you doing over there? And why is there a chest behind you? Oh, hey, Dax. Actually, inside of this chest, I have something super, super good. Oh, well, uh, can you come over here and give it to me, please? Uh, no, you're gonna have to do all this parkour if you want to earn it. What in the world? I have to do all this parkour if I want to earn it? Wait, I could literally just fly over there. And, uh, wait a second. Did it just put me into survival mode? Uh, yeah, of course. You thought it was gonna be that easy? Uh, okay, whatever. I guess I can go ahead and do this stupid parkour. Let me just make all of these jumps, even though these are so easy, Skimmy Dop. What in the world were you thinking? And, oh, gosh, I fell in the lava! What in the world, guys? I can't believe I just messed up the parkour. Okay, I guess I can go back and try again. Uh, Dax, why did it say you just tried to swim in lava? Uh, Zoe, I was trying to make a lava mob, and I uh, accidentally fell in it. Yeah. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Oh, my gosh, guys, that was way too close. Okay, we can definitely not mess that up again. Let me just go ahead and run in these jumps, and now I can speed run them. I am super, super good at parkour, so this is pretty easy. That first time was just a fluke. Okay, one jump left. Left and perfect. I made it over Skibbity Dop. Now can I go ahead and go inside the chest? Oh, yeah, of course. You can go inside whatever you want. Let's go. Let's see what's inside. And wait, what in the world is this? A one-way glass maker? Skibbity Dop, what in the world does this do? Well, if you walk over to that wall over there and just click on it, it'll turn it all into one-way glass. Wait, so you're seeing I can just see the wall and see what Zoe's going to spawn in? Yeah, that's absolutely right. Oh, my goodness, guys. This is going to be so perfect. Okay, come on. We have to get back. Thank you so much, Skippy Top. Of course, Dak. Now, I just have to make all of these jumps to go back, and then I should be able to use the one-way glass maker. Man, guys, Skippy Top is so clutch. He gave us this one-way glass maker. I really love that guy. And wait a second. What in the world? It looks like the portal just closed. Okay, whatever. At least I can walk up to our huge wall over here and click on it to see if it makes one-way glass. Come on. Be super cool. And oh, my goodness, guys. Look at all turn into one-way glass. I can see every everything on Zoe's side and what the heck did she just spot it? These guys are so terrifying. My army is looking so good. These knife toilets and zombie toilets are surely going to defeat Dax's army. What the heck? She literally spawned in the dive toilet and the zombie toilet. These guys are so strong and they're really creepy on top of that. Okay, I have to think of something really, really good for this round. Wait a second. I have like the perfect idea ever. What if I use the speaker man golem titan? He's like a fan made character, but he's supposed to be super, super strong. And whoa, this guy looks insane. He's supposed to be like the speaker man, but he's like a golem form, which means he's like super strong. I mean, just look at his arms. He has shields and everything. Wow, this guy's gonna destroy everyone over there. But just to be safe, I should probably go ahead and spotted a bunch of these guys just to make sure I can take out Zoe's army because we did, in fact, lose the last round. And actually, I feel like my golem titans aren't strong enough. It's almost like they're missing a little something.
Oh, I have a great idea. What if I use an enchantment book to make them super strong? If I just go ahead and grab this super cool book and then I click on one of them, they'll start glowing, which means they're going to become super, super strong. And I should probably go ahead and do this to a bunch of my Titan Gold Speaker Red because I need to be as strong as possible in order to beat Zoe because she does have a lot of really strong skibbity toilets over there. Let's go ahead and click on a few of these guys and I'll also make a few of them tall just because I can and this army is going to be so overpowered. Wait a sec. Dak said that I can put cake on the ground so my mobs can eat it so they'll get super strong. I better put down some cake. Wait, guys, do we actually believe that? Uh, That doesn't work. If she tries to put down cake, they're going to get super, super short. Oh, gosh, she's about to be really bad. With my army being super huge, there's no way that Dax can win. And oh, my goodness, guys, they just got super short. Look at that. What the heck? Why are my mobs so small? Oh, my goodness, guys, this is so funny. Okay, quick, let's go ahead and ask Zoe if she's ready for the wasp drop so we can crush her army. Hey, Zoe, my army is done. Are you ready for the wasp drop in our second round? Uh, no, Dax, can I have a few more minutes? Uh, no, Zoe, I'm dropping down the walls. And here we go. It looks like the walls had dropped, Zoe. And why are your people so small? They're actually kind of cute. Dax, I fed them cake, like you said, and they shrunk. Uh, you fed them cake. Is this like gluten-free cake or is it normal cake? It's normal cake. What, Zoe, they need gluten-free cake. Did you not read the instructions? No, I wasn't given any instructions. Oh, well, uh, that's a little bit unfortunate. But yeah, you guys are super small and weak now. So I'm totally gonna destroy you in this round. What the heck? And what even are these mobs? They're super huge. Uh, this is like the Titan Golem speaker something. Yeah, it's yellow and it's huge and it's super strong. And it's gonna completely destroy your army. Yeah, it does look super powerful. And some of them are glowing. But oh, no, it looks looks like a bunch of you guys are starting to drop, Zoe. I might actually pull up this round super easy with no trouble. What the heck? My guys are dropping, and I don't think any of yours have fallen. Oh, your army is so pathetic, Zoe. I knew I was going to crush you in this round. Dax, don't be too soon to celebrate, because I still have a couple guys left. Yeah, you have a couple guys left, but I mean, they are super tiny. How about I go ahead and make them a little bit bigger for you, Zoe? That would be super nice, but how are you going to do that? Uh, don't worry about it. I have my secret ways. Let me just go ahead and turn my back to you like this, and look at that. I made them super big. Wow. You, they are super big, but they just died. Yeah, I don't think you have that many people left. You only have a few of these guys over here, and then I'm gonna win the round. And perfect, just like that, Zoe. It looks like I won the second round in the mob battle. Whatever, because I won the first round. That means we're tied. All right, let's just move on to round number three. And perfect, guys. Like I said, we completely crushed Zoe in that round, but we have to keep on winning. So let's see. What is she gonna try and pull off for this round? And wait, is she holding fences? For this round, I'm gonna have to get super creative, and I'm gonna build this fence so i spawn in a mob and it's enclosed uh okay so he's gonna try and spawn in an enclosed mob what in the world is the point of that perfect now my little fence area is done i'm gonna spawn in the g-man and i'm gonna add this block of diamond and with my combining potion i'm gonna make a diamond g-man wait there's no way this actually works right and wait what in the world did it actually make a diamond version of the g-man this looks so crazy heck yeah it worked now i just gotta get his spawn egg so i can spawn in an entire army of these diamond g-men what the heck guys i cannot believe zoe actually did that that is a little bit crazy but i can definitely think of something that can take out the g-man what if i spawn in two super super strong skibbity female characters i'm thinking we do the camera woman and we do the tv woman and actually why don't i add in one more i could also do the speaker woman oh my goodness she looks super cool okay we'll also spawn in the tv woman that looks pretty cool and then lastly we'll do the camera woman and whoa with this army there's no way they can lose but man it looks like zoe is spawning in a whole bunch of g-men so i should probably do the same and spawn in a whole bunch of all of these three just to make sure my army can keep up with hers okay let me put down a few more camera women like this and then i'll go back into my inventory and grab that mob enchantment book and size changer so i can go around and make a bunch of them overpowered and guys i think we do still have a few more minutes until the walls are supposed to drop so i should go ahead and prank zoe real quick and i actually have this one mod that allows me to transform into any character i want and for this round i'm gonna be transforming into the diamond g-man so i can totally prank zoe and obviously since i look like all the other g-man on her side she is gonna be so confused about what's going on let's go ahead and fly over our wall while her back's turned and then we can start messing with her and perfect guys we landed on zoe's side and look there she is wow i am so smart for making these diamond g-men i just don't think dax could have ever thought about something like this this is literally like the lamest character ever guys but wait what should i even do to mess with her oh wait a second i still have that size changer what if i go ahead and go inside of here and grab it and then i go ahead and make everything super super small and just make her army tiny this is gonna be so funny once she realized that a bunch of her people are shrinking on this side what the heck my guys are getting small again there must have been some cake left behind i thought i cleaned it all up 
Oh my gosh, guys. Zoe just noticed that a bunch of her people on this side got super tiny. But wait, did she just blame it on the cake? I should have never listened to Dax when he was telling me about the cake. I knew that he was trying to trick me. Oh my goodness, guys. This is absolutely too funny. But we need to step up the pranking a little bit. So what's something cool I could do? What if I just go look for a super, super cool dynamite? Which one could I use? And whoa, the rainbow dynamite sounds kind of cool. Let's just go ahead and throw it in that direction. And oh my gosh, there's so many blocks everywhere. What the heck? Where did these blocks come from? Oh my goodness, guys. Okay, that was a little bit random, but it didn't do damage. We want to do something really, really cool. So what can we even use now? Oh, what if we use this thing called the arrow dynamite? I'm sure if I throw this down, a bunch of arrows will spawn in. Whoa, look at all those arrows. What the heck? Now there's arrows falling from the sky, but it looks like my mobs are okay. So that's fine. <sighs> Okay, guys, what if I throw a bunch of them in a row to make them all take a bunch of damage? And oh my gosh, we just took out so many. What the heck? The arrows actually took out my mobs this time. This is not good. I'm going to have to spawn in more before the mob battle starts. Wait, what the heck, guys? Zoe is literally just spawning in more even after seeing all these arrows. Uh, okay, guys, I really need to step it up. And wait a second. I have an even better idea. If I type in this command right here, I can see inside of Zoe's inventory and let's see it. Oh my gosh, I can see everything she has. Okay, what if I just go ahead and take this diamond G-Man away from her and also take the diamond block and I'll take that combining potion just so she can't make any more. What the heck? Where did the things in my inventory go? I can't even spawn in more mobs. Oh my gosh, guys, she just realized this is so funny. There must be someone behind this. Dax. Uh, hey, Zoe, what's up? There's things missing from my inventory, and there's also arrows being shot at my mobs. And I think you're the one behind this. Wait, there's arrows getting shot at your mobs too, Zoe? I got a bunch of arrows shot at me. Really? And did your mobs die? Yeah, a bunch of them died. I've been having to spawn in so many of them. I don't know what's going on. Well, then I guess it couldn't be you since your mobs are dying too. Yeah, it's really weird, Zoe. But hey, I think we only have like 30 seconds left until the round starts. So we might want to get it together. Yikes, 30 seconds. I can't talk right now, Dax. I'm busy. Okay, bye, Zoe. Okay, guys, if you before I head back to my side, let's go ahead and throw a few more of these arrows to take a bunch of these guys out. What the heck? More arrows? No! Oh my gosh, guys, this is perfect. Okay, come on, quick, let's go back to our side. Okay, and now that I'm back on my side, I can just morph back into my normal Dax self. And man, that is a bunch of arrows on her side. Zoe looks so angry. Okay, Zoe, well, I think I'm pretty much ready to go for this round. And like I said, we only have like 30 seconds left, so the walls could drop any second now. Yes, Dax, let's get this round over with before more arrows shoot from the sky. And oh no, Zoe, it looks like the walls have dropped. Yikes, this is crazy. But look, you chose the skibbity women. Uh, yeah, I chose the speaker woman and the camera woman and the TV woman. And they're totally destroying your diamond G-men. I love that you chose a team of women, Dax, because this is, might be your best win yet. I mean, I guess so. Wait, Zoe, you're happy that I won? Well, I'm always going to support women. So the fact that they won is okay with me. Uh, okay. I mean, I guess that works out. But Zoe, if I win one more round, you're totally going to lose the mob battle. So you might want to get it together. Except I'm going to be winning the next round, Dax. So how about you just go back to your side so I can win this thing? Uh, okay. We'll see about that. And perfect, guys. We completely crossed Zoe in that last round, which means I only need one round left in order to win the mob battle. So let's go ahead and see what Zoe going to try and pull out for this fourth round. You know, I'm super tired of using the Skibbity Toilet variants. So I'm going to use all of the Titan mobs. Wait, she's using all the Titans. Wait, that's the camera Titan and the TV Titan and the upgraded Speaker Man Titan? What the heck? Whoa, these guys look awesome and they're super big. I can't wait to build my army. Wait, she's spawning in even more. She literally doesn't need any more. These are Titans after all. They're like the strongest characters. Oh gosh, what am I gonna do? Wait, since Zoe switched to the Alliance side, maybe I should use some of the toilets. And I actually have the perfect idea for our combo this round. I'm gonna go ahead and use the astronaut toilet and whoa, look how cool this guy looks. He has like a bunch of rings on him and he has a little zapper down here. This guy is pretty awesome and I'm pretty sure he's like super, super strong. But to pair him up, with, I'm also going to be using the scientist toilet and whoa, this guy looks super freaky as well. I kind of don't like his head. But either way, we all know that the scientist toilet is extremely strong, especially after make him like two times the height and oh gosh, wait, that made him super small. Let's go back into our size changer and I'll make him super, super big, like two times the height and now he should be super big. Perfect. Of course, I'll do the same with the astronaut toilet and then I'll start spawning in a whole bunch 
watching them just to make sure I can take out Zoe's army. And you know what? Instead of just using the size changer, I should also probably grab that mob enchantment book just so I can make them super glowy. And oh gosh, wait, I made myself glow. Hopefully Zoe doesn't get mad about that or anything. Okay, let's go ahead and click on this scientist here. And where's my other tall guy? And oh, perfect. There he is right there. Let me make him glow. And whoa, both these guys look super powerful. I honestly have no idea who's going to win this round, but what do you guys think? You can either comment Team Titan or you can comment Team Skibbity. Okay, Zoe, and my army is pretty much ready to go. Do you think we can drop the walls early for this round? Yep, let's do it. And here we go, Zoe. It looks like the walls have officially dropped. Whoa, these guys are crazy, Dax. Why are they so big? Uh, they're big because I gave them cake, Zoe, and it's the gluten-free version. Yikes. Okay, I learned my lesson. Okay, and it looks like you spotted a bunch of titans, Zoe. What in the world were you even thinking? This is not fair. How is it not fair, Dax? Because they're super strong and big, and you spawned in three different mobs, which is totally cheating. That is not cheating at all. I would like to see that in the rule book. Uh, whatever, Zoe. It doesn't even make a difference because I'm pretty sure my guys can still pull it out. Yeah, I really don't think so. I'm not seeing a lot of your guys left. No way, Zoe. Come on, my guys can definitely win this. Keep fighting everyone. Come on. Wow, your guys are dropping like flies, Dax. This is actually so funny. Oh, no, this isn't good. Come on, I wanted to win this round so I could win the mob battle. It does look pretty close, though. I think I could pull this out. No way. I'm definitely going to win this round. Uh, it only looks like you have one tiny speaker man left, Zoe. There's no way you can win and wait. He's doing a lot of damage. What the heck? Ooh, it looks like I might pull through. Come on, tiny speaker man. You got this. No way. I have my huge ufo toilet come on you have to take them out please 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 and wait no my huge ufo toilet just went down and wait my last scientist just went down heck yeah the titan speaker man has never let me down i win oh my gosh this is absolutely ridiculous whatever so it doesn't make a difference because i'm totally gonna destroy you in the final round yeah i really don't think so dax but i wish you the best and what the heck, guys? I can't believe I actually lost that last round. Uh, okay, we totally need to focus up and win this round. Let's see what Zoe's gonna try and pull up for the final round of this mob battle. Okay, I really want to combine two mobs this round, but I lost my combining potion. Ooh, I know exactly what to do. I need to create a combining machine. And to do that, I just need to hit slash slash paste. And wait a second. What in the world is this machine right here? Yes, my combo machine turned out perfect. Now I can start putting my mobs on each side so I can finally get the combined titan. Wait, there's no way this is actually going to work. Who is she combining? It looks like she's combining the Titan T-Man over here. And what's going on the other side? Now I just need to put the Titan Cameraman on this side. Okay, this is going to be totally crazy. I don't even think this is going to work, but I guess we can see what she hits the lever. Perfect. Now I just need to flip this switch and they will combine. It, wait a second. Did it actually work? Is that the Cabo Man right there? Perfect. My Cabo Man turned out exactly how I wanted him to. Now I just need to get his spawn egg so I can build my army. What the heck? Guys, I can't believe she was actually able to make that. And wait, she says use slash slash paste in order to build this. What if I just go ahead and type in the same thing over here? Let's just go ahead and type in our command. And whoa, look at that. It looks like I got one of those fancy combining machines too. This is totally awesome. But wait, what should I even try to use for this final round? And Zoe did spawn in all the Titans in the last round. So what if I combine all of them together? But in order to do that, I need to use this command right here to look in Zoe's inventory and perfect. Now I just need to find all of those Titans. Let's see, we got the speaker man here. I'll just take that spawn egg. We also have the upgraded camera man here and the upgraded TV man. And now all I have to do is put them in the combining machine because that's what Zoe did. So let's go ahead and put the TV man and the speaker man in on this side here and close the door. And then for the other side, I'll go ahead and throw in the camera man. I guess we can go ahead and hit this lever and see what actually does. I honestly don't think it's gonna work. And wait a second, did it actually work oh my gosh i think it actually made the tri titan okay quick we have to go ahead and grab this guy's spot egg super super quick so i can build a huge army of tri titans and completely destroy zoe's army over there and since this is the tri titan he's probably like the strongest titan you could possibly have so there's no way i could lose using him okay let me just go ahead and spot it in a few more like this and why don't i go ahead and use this awesome size changer to make them super super big with an army this big and this strong there's no chance i could actually lose this final round of the mob battle well, who do you think is going to actually win this last round? You can either comment Team Tri Titan or you can comment Team Combo Man. Okay, Zoe, my army is ready for this final round in the mob battle. Are you ready for the walls to drop? I am so ready. You are so going down, Dax. We'll see about that, Zoe. And here we go. It looks like the walls have dropped. And man, you spotted a bunch of Combo Titans. Yep, I sure did. And is this the Tri Titan? Yes, it is. Whoa, what the heck? That's like the perfect counter to my mob. Yeah, I'm like a super ultra genius, Zoe. Yeah, you are super smart. But wait, is this a combining machine too? 
Oh yeah, um, I actually built my own. And wait, it looks like you built one too. Yeah, I guess great minds think alike. Uh, obviously not because you just got completely smacked, Zoe. None of your people are even left. What the heck? All of my army died? This is so not cool. Yeah, I think your army was just super weak, but hey, at least it makes me the mob battle champion, right? Yeah, congrats, Dax. You definitely deserve it. And if you guys enjoyed that video and want to watch more Dax and Zoe, make sure to click one of the videos on screen. Bye,